Okay. And that's the sound of a microphone feeding back. Whoa! Oh, right, yeah. Too loud. Yeah, yeah. Okay, too loud. well. Let's we'll, get into we'll, the realm of non distortion. Sorry yes. about your ears. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew Wednesday edition, where sometimes it's all out the window now. We're just playing games. <laughs> <laughs> These are all it's, new ones. It's, it's, so, oh, that's badass. That's some, I feel bad because you're only here on Wednesdays. So <laughs> usually it's like leftovers. It's like I don't oh, we've mind. I'll take this the before, leftovers, man. I'll but do we're, it. We're playing new games today. We're playing a yes. whole bunch of new ones. Only two that we've played before because they've had updates. Now. Oh, that's cool though. I like that. That's yeah. sort of my favorite. It feels like you know we're refining. We're that's watching right. the like improvement. They've gotten the feedback from us from the community, and now they've improved the games or added to them, added to the complexity. I mean, they're already good before, but Absolutely. You know, make them more complex, more options, things that's, like that. That's honestly my favorite thing is to watch something slowly progress because it's yes. like, it's one thing when you just look at something, but then when you see someone's like refining and putting like love and effort and care yeah. into it and trying to push it as far as it can go, to me, that's like the most exciting thing. And it's cool in this day and age that we can do that like back in the 80s and 90s when there wasn't this kind of feedback loop the the internet interaction personal interaction all you got was here's the game that's right like it or leave it um, and now there's like beta testing like big companies even do that they they invite for beta testing you get to play the game for like two years before yeah. it's out in kind of a select group so it's like mods a... and people slowly yeah. it's like i love that it becomes like an organism that is developing it's to me that's sort of addictive in yes. its own way because it's like you get something and you're like okay well this is it it's all it is <laughs> I, yeah. i'm done with this but it's especially for things like atar games where there's a simplicity and a beauty to the simplicity to see yeah. it evolve and refine is just cool it is it's really really neat and a, one of the only few pieces of art that you can do that with absolutely you, you don't get that with music, movies, movies no. it's, it's more of like a, a closed off endeavor. That's right. Uh, Behind the scenes you get that experience, but as an audience you never do, you don't get to like... No, and I don't think it'll ever evolve to that point because, never. you know, with a movie... Maybe you don't want to see the magic behind the scenes. You just want to see the end product, the perfect version. That's right. But anyway, welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. <laughs> this is where we play new games on classic consoles. And for now, it's Atari 2600. But I'm putting in an order now Oh. for an RGB upgrade for the Intellivision. I've wow. got in contact with the guy, thanks to Ice Bosta. Uh, he hooked me up with a guy. Um, Dude, I suppose that is a, a <laughs> homie of this. <laughs> That's right. He helps out a lot, and um, but I'm going to be doing it myself, which is kind of neat. Yeah. Um, because it's really expensive to ship big, heavy pieces of hardware down to the U.S. and ship them back. Plus, you have to pay the person to do it. And I did this one with Darcy. Upgraded my RGB yeah. on the Atari 2600. So I thought, let's. Oh, might as well do it again. Well, let's have Film the, the whole fun thing. of this thing. Yeah, it is so, like getting into the nitty-gritty, dirty aspects of it and just doing it yourself. So, hello to everybody out there. Um, got some people talking in the Twitch chat already. It's amazing. Cool crab, lid likes intelligent. I think he might be a fan of the <laughs> the new. <laughs> yeah. He might be. Oh, finally! Yeah, <laughs> my gonna, people are gonna <laughs> play some intelligent on here. Um, Atari Spot, Titus Renegade, a uh, new name, Mud Muddy Huck. Muddy hey, dude. Huck. Or chick. Or, yeah, person. Or non-binary. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and they're uh, a subscriber. Wow, Thank you we got a subscriber, much. man. It's crazy. And oh, then a yeah. Ground Trooper as well. Is they're always... not on my list. They must have just done it. Okay. Well. And then Thrust. Thrust 26. Here. Excellent. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Ground Trooper as well. Um, and everybody else who is not talking and typing and just watching the show or hanging out on youtube later yeah, you that's know. right watching the the archived version that we do we've got like 50 other shows in the in the can that you can go back and watch <laughs> of varying qualities well, at the beginning saying the sound is is bad on oh this end. it might be input is too high let me uh let me turn down the input and oh yeah probably yeah and and then how okay. is that that might, that's probably. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Yeah.
okay, okay. He's, he's, we were, yeah, we were kind of messing with it because we, we weren't getting a read on the thing. Yeah. And then we realized it was fine, so that's, that's why it was just like a moment or two. Yeah, so the, the input, yes, you are correct. The input was too high. So when the input's too high, it doesn't help when you turn down the output. That's right. You still have terrible input. It's all distorted. So there, there you go. Okay, Thank perfect. you for letting us know. Anytime anything is messing up on this show, please let us know. Hell yeah. Because we want it the best quality for you. Um, to, so today we're going to be playing five games. He said it's a, it's a bit low now. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a delay... Uh, let's turn it up a well, little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit. That's probably good. Yeah. We want to just touch touch the peaks. Oh, that's nice. James right talks louder than me. This is also... I'm probably mumbly <laughs> as always. And yeah, because I know on, you know, television and things, you have to project and be big and... That's right. You know, I'm, like, I'm just used to it. I've been... I'm like the... I'm the method actor. I'm like mumbling. I'm <laughs> doing <laughs> radio... Yeah, your mumblecore, right? That's right. I'm, I'm one of these <laughs> bastards, you know? <laughs> But it's real. That's what. That's right. You gotta listen in and, and you know piece it together. Um, we're gonna be playing five games today. Two of them are updates that we've played on the show before. Oh, that's sick. And they've added to them, like we were talking about mm -hmm. off the top of the show. Um, and three of them are brand new. Like actually, two of them are really new. Cool. And one is like a throwback. Anyway, a Monkey King by Cool Crab. Who's here? Who is here? Uh, Night Guy in Low Res World, which we also played before by John Van Newman. I think, John Von Newman. I don't think I have. You but, may not have. But you, but you have for yes. sure. And he's added like a billion new levels. To wow. It. It used okay. to be like five. Uh, now there's like thirty-one or something. Damn. But we'll get to that. Um, Tire Tracks by Muddy Funster. Uh, Escape from Cuckoo Coo Temple by Titus Renegade. Oh, who's here? Wow. Welcome. That's excellent. I love it when the uh, developers are in the studio per se in the audience I yeah guess, along with us how is how's the audio now is it better non-distorted loud enough all good and robot city by thomas yench who is thrust 26 wow okay so we got our his secret identity <laughs> sorry sorry thrust but well, it's great we got all the people here which yeah. is yeah and i want to thank all the twitch subscribers that support the channel Audio is good. Awesome. Good. Uh, Carcass, Ed, uh, Ada Man, uh, T Tiki Dan K, Soundtrack 78, Mr. Fix, Jeffrey 2123, A Tasty Sandwich, Atari Spot, and Ground Trooper. And a lot of those are in watching right now because wow. they are like super fans. What, a, guess, right? what a progression from when you started this show oh till God. now. It's, it's, it's just been... like boom, boom, boom. Big, big, big. And and thank you for everyone else who comes and watches and and, you know, goes on YouTube and watches and gets it's, feedback and Facebook and all that stuff. It's yeah. one of those things where I was like explaining to my family what I was doing <laughs> as a hobby and they're like, the, you, you, the people watch you play video games? I'm like, yeah, I was just That's hang out right. at James's place. It's like, James, who is this guy? He's, he's, I don't know how old he is. He's like, <laughs> fellow we, filmmaker. You know, we play games and film <laughs> it and, like, and they're like, oh, okay, well that sounds, and you, I, these are people from Alberta so oh, they're like, okay. you know, pipe totally fitters. Totally different world. Completely, but it is just an amazing thing to get to hang out with people and play games like it's it's a very very cool thing and like that was a big hump for me to get over to is watching people play video games and like i don't know like five six years ago yeah i think when south park first showed that that episode where um uh that little that little canadian um brother is like watching video games i think it was the pewdiepie episode yeah I'm like, oh, that's that's interesting. Uh, why would somebody want to watch somebody else play video games? But I get it, and especially this show where we're Absolutely. we're showing brand new games, some of which people can't even get yet, and we're kind of saying, hey, these games are good. You should download them and play them too. Hell yeah! Like you may not have heard of these games, so it's more like a reveal. A lot of a lot of the ones on YouTube and Twitch are like everybody knows these games. Yeah, and, and they it... play them to death. And it's fun to sort of just, like, share your passion with people, right? And you that have an too. interest, and it's like you don't get a chance to necessarily, like, hang out and kind of like... Because it's like, it's a, that's a cool thing about the internet now, is it's like you might have this interest that you feel like nobody else has, but you yeah. put your stuff out there on the internet, and you're going to meet people. It's that's like... That's right. It's like Field of Dreams, James. <laughs> they if you will... build it, they, they And they did come. come. And that's amazing. <laughs> 
And I was hoping they would come, and they did come. That's which right. is great. And my ground trooper is, feels the same thing. I used yeah. to give my son crap about what I'm doing now, <laughs> which is watching. But yeah. Zero Page Homebrew is the only channel I watch. You should watch Thank other ones, too. Yeah, but thanks, Thank you very trooper. much. Um, and we have a box to open up as well. Oh, oh, cool. It's not homebrew, I'm pretty sure. But, but it something. is related. It's video game related. And I like opening up boxes. Unboxings in universally. It's Christmas. Yes. It's and Christmas on a Wednesday. That's right. I love opening boxes. Um, and the game that I can't say the name of. I've um, been playing it uh, a bunch recently. Playtesting it, because that's what I'm doing. Um, and he just updated it so I can play it on my Genesis, Genesis controller now because oh, it wasn't working. And it's like, oh, it's a beautiful game. Can't wait. It's soon. He says very soon and we'll be able to reveal it to the world. Yes. Yeah, Hopefully so I can be there. But I don't know. We'll see how it turns I'll out. Try I... for a Wednesday. But as soon as he says go, it's going to be oh, like I go. I it understand. It may, may even be a special show. Oh. I don't know. It could be like a Tuesday. <laughs> it could be. I've done that before with the Retron 77 when I got that brand new. Because I was like the first one to stream it on the whole of the internet. Yeah. It was a sad disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Not the stream. The actual box. The actual, yeah, the product. But, you know, it was fun to but try you something know. new. You out. have to try it. Yeah. Um, and we're going to talk probably a little bit later about the definitions of words of homebrew. Cool. We, I remember like, last time I was on the show, you were, we were talking a little bit about that. Yeah. I feel like I just ask naive questions <laughs> and people debate them. And I'm like, oh, what, what's the answer, guys? <laughs> uh, there's four. Okay, I'll just keep playing the That's game. Right. <laughs> but it's good. Some of these people don't know, you know, the terminology or maybe they really know the terminology. Um, but there were some games coming up on Friday that were done by Iosposta. And he oh. said, no, that's not the correct terminology that I want on those games. Okay, cool. Because Iosposta makes a lot of um, mock-ups. Okay. And he didn't want them being called work in progresses. Um, because he, d he d has no plans to continue them. That makes sense. He doesn't want to make a full game. He wants to make a mock-up and, and inspire somebody else to, go to finish that game or or take up the reins and, and run with it that makes a lot so of sense so i'm like oh sorry i will correct that yeah but we'll, we'll we're gonna reference um uh, arena foot's book and and go through some terminology okay, cool. that maybe will help us refer to the games in a better way in Sounds a more appropriate great. way because i hate getting things wrong and especially spreading things wrong. Well, you're slowly becoming the spokesperson in some well, ways of this, of some of this stuff. So it's at cool. least a figurehead. I wouldn't. I don't know. Not I even should, a figurehead. I'm, just this. Just, you're a just person. A, you're just a guy. But I don't I mean, even want to say. From yeah. my perspective, it sounds like you know a gathering point. Yes. Where I'll, I'll accept that. There you go. You're definitely not a spokesperson. So you're. Uh, that's a much better way. <laughs> yes. So being a gathering point, it's important that when you're speaking to the gathering. Yeah. That it's. I don't have to. I can just show up. You can up be and, naive. And <laughs> just ask questions and yeah you can be the voice of the audience yeah right? but but you gotta make i sure gotta you're... i gotta be sure gotta be precise yeah it's but tough. i'm saying it's the right tough. things and representing the community in a, in a correct way absolutely and you know being a part-time or full-time documentarian hell yeah a filmmaker you also have to do that um in a documentary represent or you don't have to, but I try. I want to no, represent what I'm portraying on the screen in a proper way. Um, some people just throw that out the window yeah, and are like, very yeah. biased, and they want to do whatever they want. Well, you were telling me I didn't know this, but you actually sometimes do the for like the pictures. You like Photoshop oh, them yourself. That's which is another. Crazy. Yeah, that's another new thing. Actually, I'm just gonna switch back really quickly. You can see all those. They can still hear us. Yeah, you okay, great. And hello, all, Wade Rain. <laughs> hello, Wade Rain. Uh, see all those uh, cartridges right there on the screen now. Um, I, I've, I'll switch back. I've standardized them so they look like cartridges. They're not out on cartridge. Because um, Arena Foot said, oh, people are going to think they're out on cartridge. Yeah. They're not out on cartridge. I just made those so they're all the same height and width and yeah. they just look nicer. Um, yeah, I try and present things in the best possible way and make it appealing and easy to watch rather than oh this, this is terrible and the audio is bad we don't want that anyway let's unbox okay cool that's fun and i've learned to cover up to your... cover up my address yeah, it's, it's uh not a, not nobody i don't want people visiting my house because um 
what was that? Oh yeah, the a a show that I watch on YouTube. It's Good Mythical Morning. Not all the time, but sometimes. I used to watch it quite regularly. They made a PSA of don't visit our studio, please. Yeah. Because you know these people don't want visitors coming unexpectedly i mean if well, you're invited of course what's well, a really interesting thing because like you know the internet is becoming like there's this feeling of anonymity and there's this yes. feeling of like you put your voice out there and there's so many voices that it doesn't matter but it is at a certain point like this stuff is written in in stone like there is a level of like oh but there's also a level of intimacy too exactly and also with this more so than other ones that are pre-recorded there's a feedback yeah. as well. So, you know, when you watch uh, fictional television shows like Friends and then you think they are your they're friends. friends. They're not your friends. They're no. actors. Um, but in a, in, a, in a sitcom structure with a... Yeah, that's right. <laughs> with a 22-minute... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, Hello, I suppose, sir. Yeah, nobody wants unexpected guests. But I do like expected guests that's that right. I invite over like you. <laughs> and I, I do invite all of you into... The studio over the internet. Maybe I better not do that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, we just... I was most uh... scared of <laughs> cutting it open. Now, I'm pretty sure I know what these are. Atari 2600 games that I've been wanting for a long time. Oh. And somebody posted on Facebook that I they had some, and they, were, wow. they had a bunch of them, and I, I said, oh, I want this, this, and this. And they were the exact ones I wanted. Oh, dude. Also, uh, Geyervam, I've never heard. No, hey, Geyervam, Geyervam. I don't know. Let us know how to pronounce it in the... (laughs) Ambiguous. Because we're the ones who have to say it, so just let us know. That's right. And hopefully we'll we'll try to remember. Like, I supposed to, I was like, I have no idea how to... Now it's just like, it's a household name. I supposed to. to. No problem. So, um, this one is like one of... the top wanted games for most Atari Okay, I'm going to cover my face <laughs> so you can do it. Um, so it's Hero. Um, a great kind of platformer um, game. Oh, cool. It's super fun. Super, super fun. These are all like kind of sealed-ish. Yeah, that's kind of weirdly neat. sealed. I mean, yeah. I'm going to open them. But... I guess they're probably, they're probably used and then they've well, resealed yeah. them. And this is an Activision game and Activision made some of the best... 2600 games back in the 80s and 90s the problem with activision games is something called activision rot wow and you can see it it's kind of dark and usually they get splotchy this one's not splotchy but this one is dark yeah so most most of the labels on activision games are all ruined they all look terrible. You know, this is weird. So sad. Reminds me of sort of these movies around the time, like Tank Girl and like oh, Mad yeah. Max. It has that kind of that vibe. It does. That's, that unmistakable kind of. There you go. Hero is a off. super game. My favorite, Gear Vam. And Lord Monk is Hero is awesome. Cool. It is really good. Um, Jawbreaker. Um, there we go. Yep. Good. This one's sealed as by well. Tiger. Well. But I mean, it, it's they're all sealed. sealed. Uh, Junior Pac-Man, that's a fun one because it scrolls vertically. Um, Flash Gordon, a good kind of shooter with uh, kind of two separate levels. You're flying through mazes. It's really unique uh, control system. Um, Tutankham, Calm, also kind of a, another... Uh, oh, well. People can look it up online. Um, Tutankham, another really fun maze collecting shooting game um, that also scrolls vertically. Really cool. This one's a bit worse than I thought, but it's got but you some, got like, the... rust on it. That's really weird. That's very. Is this strange. actual metal? That must it's be. I mean, if it's rust, if it's got rust, that's definitely <laughs> metal. Anyway, uh, an Imagic game, always fun. Uh, Laser Gates. Um, it's cool that Laser Gates has rust good. on it. I know. I mean, if there's any, if there's any of these games, kind of adds to it. Oh, Impalers here. Impalers. And Lord Monkus. So some games that I've had on my want list for a long time. So finally can cross those off. Wow. Won't have to look for them in Portland in uh, October. End of You've October. You've got quite the collection, man. It's it's oh, getting cool. You haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> it's in huge bins in the other room. It's massive massive collection it's out of control 
in fact. That's okay, though. But there's so many Atari 2600 games. You know my bit, man. The difference between a hoarder and a collector is a collector's <laughs> organized. <laughs> That's true. And plays the game. That's right. Yeah. A hoarder just kind of piles it up. I yeah, think. and in a, in a random fashion. And they're like, I'll, I'll get to that in one day. Exactly. I need, I'll use that in one day. Maybe this newspaper day. from 1980. <laughs> yeah, I'll, this coupon, or I don't know. Yeah. Look, and you can never have too many Atari games. That's, that's, that's right. true, man. That's very that's true. That's right. Mudhuck. Mudhuck? Muddyhuck? Muddyhuck? I don't know. Okay, so we're going to get to the first game. Oh, cool. Which is Monkey King, which you have played before. Oh, this is two-player. I'm going to have to plug in the other joystick. Oh, yeah, that's right. So let's switch back. It's definitely two-player. Yeah. I'm going to switch back and plug the Atari box. Um, so... <laughs> Slick Slog says, my friend has too many. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Slick Slog, another new name. Yeah, man. Wow. I think... I, yeah, there this is... It's a good time of day, I it think. It is a perfect time of day. Or maybe they like the game selection today. Either way, yeah. welcome to all these people. So it is Muddy, Muddy Funster. So he is the programmer of the bike game that we're going to be playing. Oh, sweet! Yeah, I'll welcome. Have, I have to. I have to not. <laughs> so that, I'm going to give you that one. I oh, think that'll cool. be good for this game because yeah, it's I very think so. precise. Yeah, joystick. and this one and this game's really like you kind of bounce um, one back and forth and back and forth. Yeah. Let me plug in that. Let me put my coffee down. I'm getting serious. Oh up, yeah. Up in here. That's right. It is a competition. Oh this yeah. Game that's it right. is a competition. So let's get back to the screen. And the first one is Monkey King. And this is a very new build. I think it's yesterday. Ooh. Yesterday's build. Let's see. Oh, sorry. The screen was already up, and I turned it off. That's see okay. my notes. That uh, yeah, this one is fresh. This one's from yesterday. Wow. Um, so this is going to be brand new. It's stuff. Cool Crabs, right? If I uh, yes, right. by Cool Crab. Yeah. Um, and it's not going on the screen. What is happening? This is the day of. of there's always. There's always one or two things. Yeah. It's really weird. What's going on? I tested mm -hmm. all these games, by the way. Oh, yeah. So it will we'll work. They all will. I will get them working. Oh, yeah. There's always a way. It's yeah. half the charm, half the fun. There we go. Okay. We're good. We're all fine here. Okay. We're all good. Okay. So, let's make sure we've got some audio locally. Uh, okay. That's not starting. Okay. Now we're starting. I got it. <laughs> oh, I don't think mine's uh not happening. There it's no. Oh, I see. Well, I can't go up and down. Which oh. one's me? Oh, I think we're on one player. Okay, okay. Uh oh, no, no. It's the switches. Now try. Oh, yeah, I'm good okay. now. Let's do it. Oh, oh man. And then I ran into it, so <laughs> oh, yeah, this is better with this thing. Oh, and the coconuts, and yep. it's, they're hidden. Okay. Yep, the coconuts are da coming down now. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. So there is still an issue. See, I couldn't play it two-player because I didn't have any... Oh, oh no. no. Okay, I hit the... What did? You, what happened there? You hit a button? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh-oh. Cool crab. <laughs> oh, am I going on my own? Yep. So now you're kind of going for points. Oh, so the idea is, is if, if I die, if you die, I get to keep going? You get to keep going for a high score. Oh, wow. That's not that's no fun for your friends. <laughs> not too much. So, so there is an issue with one of the... So let's avoid that. Let's just play. Don't press the button for now. Okay. okay? So let's just make sure everything's good. Because this is also playtesting for Hell the yeah. programmer. To make sure everything is... It's better on this controller, though, man. Because the last time we played it on the Genesis... Yeah, that's a bit sloppy for games like this. It's also just, like, a more fun experience, I think. Precision games are... You need an arcade-style joystick. Yeah. Rather than a, a gamepad. Um, gamepads are good for games that have complete four-way, eight-way freedom of movement. Oh, no. Did you press a button? No, I didn't, but I hit one you of the hit things. hit one. Okay. So there is an issue when you hit um, one of the branches. So it is doing some 
too many or not enough lines. So it is drawing the okay, screen. Okay, so the double arrow is like one thing, and then this is another. I can't remember what the things are. Oh, yeah, I hit the branch, and that's what did it. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's game over. R.I.P. There's a second mode that stops if either player dies. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. So the, what's the the double arrow is a slow down time. Yeah, so try that. And Our then this one's... What's, oh, see, that's the one that's that's been... that kills the branches. Or makes you invisible? I can't, Damn it, I can't, can't remember. remember. We, had, we were so good. So we knew the, it all last time. This time slows. The time slow doesn't... is fine. Yeah, time slow is great. It doesn't hurt anything. Actually, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's death. But that's cool. I like that. That's why I like the coconut so much. It's just like... <laughs> you just, can't escape it sometimes. Yeah, and there should be that element of chance where it's like... Because that's why people like poker. It's like there's yes. like an ability to it, but at the same time, it's like sometimes you just get a shit hand. Yeah, There's nothing you right. can do. So press that oh, one. So, I got so that help. one's fine. That's no problem. That one, that one doesn't destroy this screen. So hitting... There we go. Slow down. Kill branches. branches. Life. Invisible. invisible. Hard branch? Add, bar add, add branches. Add okay. branches. Okay, cool. That's cool. So killing the branches is what makes the And when the I hit the goes... branches, I seem to struggle. So I think when the branches die, it's the game yeah. seems to struggle. It, it seems jumps. to be the... Like, um, I'll do it right now, real quick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, see. Yeah. We lost <laughs> signal. Uh-oh. Is oh, it God. dead forever? <laughs> I just... It jumped too much. I destroyed too many branches. <laughs> That's one way to become the Monkey King. <laughs> That's right. Just totally destroy the whole game. That's interesting. It's never happened before in any of the ones, but I who that it kills the whole game. Yeah. That's that's quite an accomplishment. It's when it jumps too much for the equipment to handle. Yeah, that makes sense. Like it's, I guess the lines are too much. Well, that's the cool thing about I think. Um, so go to that other mode where either of us die, it's over. Okay, cool. That sounds good. It's also the cool thing about homebrew, right, is we're just pushing these games to, like, the limit, right? Yes. So it's like, it's no doubt there's going to be it's this it's element be, of, like... It's going to be game-killing bugs. Hell yeah. Know? There we go. Well, I mean, even on, like, you know, huge million-dollar films that are... Sorry, games that are released, yeah. uh, there's there's always a level of, like... And I would... Uh, a lot of homebrew are going more towards not having those switches. Yeah. So I would suggest to start the game is one of us can press the button rather than reaching over because then because <laughs> the then you're like you have to get back to your joystick immediately too because the game just starts right that's funny only james has the power to kill a game like that <laughs> that's correct man yeah this is what i deal with every wednesday game killing <laughs> power oh i love that dude that was great which what was it um this is a new feature but it's so smart it was this his solution to like um uh the health is that I can't, oh. rather than limiting me, um, oh. I, I can't actually, see, I can't get more yeah, health because I have the maximum. That's a great addition. So that's that's brilliant. That that deals with all of our problems. Because before I had this thing where I was like, um, yeah, no, I was like, I, yeah, I made the mistake. But it's great because rather than adding a line, it's just stopped us from doing it, which is so smart because then I get to keep my guys. Oh, it seemed to work this time. Okay, slow this down a bit. Well, maybe this mode is just going to roll, is rolling a bit better. Seems to. Yeah, there seems to be What's no issues on? here. Have you hit a branch? Yeah, I did hit a branch really? many That's times. Fine. I'm going to, oh, it's destroying a branch. <laughs> destroying a branch totally is an issue. I want to tr show you something, actually, if we survive. Is if you slow it down, if you keep slowing, slowing, slowing. Oh, you don't. No. <laughs> okay. Every time you get one, press the button. Okay. Because I discovered this bug in it. Okay, I'm going to... But it may not be a bug, he said, and he wants to know uh, feedback on it. Okay, cool. Whether it's, like, a cool thing to keep or not. Oh. Because... <laughs> Whoa. It's getting pretty slow. Wait till a coconut comes at this speed. It's, like, barely moves. It's so funny. That's this another... is um this is the second level right before the unconscious where you're in the <laughs> truck. That's right. <laughs> you're falling into the <laughs> Hans Zimmer is playing a score. Oh wow. Oh yeah, see? Oh now you hit a branch or somebody hit a branch. Oh my yeah. I think we're dead. <laughs> we're dead. <laughs> anyway, what it does is it 
it wraps around like you go say the speed goes in increments of 10 so it starts at 50 yeah and it goes 40 30 20 10 Damn. 255 or 250 Damn. so it wraps around and goes super quick super quick and he's wondering whether to keep yeah i killed the game <laughs> keep the super quick in there or to like just stop it at the slow i i gotta tell you man i'm i'm in i'm gonna vote for the super quick because there's something cool about like especially yeah. when you're playing competitively to like to force it into that mode. yeah and then all of a sudden it's like and also it's neat because you don't have to do it it's, yeah, an it's an option. It's it's a it's a or you can force the other player to be in it. That's right, which is tactical. Let's try to do that again. That was cool. So if you hit branches, it's fine. If you did you hit a branch or did you trigger? I triggered one. Okay. So check it out. I'll show you again. No, don't do it, please. Don't. Please don't trigger. No, I won't. I won't. <laughs> it kills the game. Yeah, we're like we can't kill the game all day. I'm like, Look, James, I'm killing the game. <laughs> Yay. Um. So that's that's good. So let's. Make sure that nothing else kills the game. Oh, man. Yeah, I can't. See, I can't get the health. Exactly, because you're That's at full. Good. And so now, and hold on, I'm going to get one. And see, there, I got you full got now. Yep. Which is fantastic, because then you don't waste your thing. Which is just, that's a perfect little bit of design. I love that. Oh, what do we do exactly to break it? We are uh, destroying branches. The second option. Yeah, the second option breaks it. And then when we did the wraparound screen, it, 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 broke, it, it too. broke it too. Probably just a cart. I guess, are you playing on, I guess it's the difference of playing off of an emulator. Oh, you made me invisible. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> that killed it for some reason. Oh though. yeah, I think it was just so much was on the screen though. Cause I was like dodging a coconut. Plus it's getting hit. So killing the branches and like hitting a coconut or something. Also, oh no! Did you press the button? I did. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know what I had. I was wanting to try it out. Oh. Ah! <clears throat> uh, you can dodge that. Yeah. See, that's cool though. I'm. Lo I love these coconuts. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, they're really good. They add that extra, you know, factor of craziness of like oh no and also he solved the problem thanks that's great yeah that's wonderful that invisibility is death to the other person especially so if you bad. were to go like triple speed then oh yeah speed it right up and then do that oh my god r.i.p something happened I, w I did hit a branch i think yeah so there's a couple ways that it's dropping Either triggering a branch invisibility or hitting a certain number of branches also does it. You should not do too much debugging. <laughs> Thrust says people will get lazy. Yeah. The biggest thing is you gotta watch your line count. Oh, yeah. Coconuts aren't killing the game per se. But yeah. You should put in uh, breaks in your game while you're doing the debugging on your own um, so that it watches the number of lines. I did already send him all this information. Um, hello, Arena Foot. You overslept. Oh, my God. Hey, Arena Come Foot. Come on. Nah, man. It's all good. We all, <laughs> we all got to sleep. So let Who me read out the questions that he has, and we'll see what oh, we think cool. of it and, and the audience based on this new build. Sounds good. Um, is the pause useful or can I remove it? Oh, now, is there a pause? Instead of pause, and it's usually they use the black and white for the pause. Oh. Like, I don't... I, I would, I don't um... It's useful. Like, it's such a quick-paced game. It's not like no. a... And half the fun is you start and stop. Like, I mean, if this were, like, um, a, a dungeon crawler and we yeah. needed to, like, go to the bathroom, yes. that's where, like, a pause would be really dope. But this is a fast action. The game doesn't take too long. Like, it's not an hour-long game. I don't see why you would need to pause it. Because it does... <laughs> we're both in lazy gamer mode. Now we're both just like... <laughs> it's like, whatever. Um, so I, I would get rid of it. He says you, he gets some ROM space back. Yeah. I would, I would lose it, definitely, yeah. man. There's two game modes, one that ends when either player is dead and one that ends when both are dead. Love that. Is the second mode something that should be kept? 
I th- I'd say so. Why that's not? that's it's great. A good option. You know, and that's also you get to torture your friends and show them how cool you are. Yeah, look that's at me. I ha- keep on going. That's half the fun. Yeah. And then you and who and that would also like, but then you could also get bored with that and try something else. It's also nice just to be able to even play like a little bit more. Yeah. Because even if it's like one so of those things, it doesn't things, stop immediately. Yeah, like yeah, and then someone can try. And also going for high scores, then um, yeah, you you can kind of start playing together, see yeah. who gets better. That's I, that's true. Yeah, you can go for your own high score. But also involve the other person. Yeah, because yeah. it's a hangout game. This is probably my favorite two-player. Um, uh, yeah, uh, co-op. Co- or, not, it's not co-op, actually. Yeah, my favorite. I guess t- it could be co-op. It totally could be co-op. Yeah, I like the games where it gives you the option just inherently whether yeah. to be co-op or not. Like, you get to choose. And it's not an option on there. It's not like friendly fire on and off. It's like, well, if you shoot me, I'll, I will get hurt. Yeah. yeah. So I, I'd keep them in. They're good options. Oh, and to, to just to answer the question, um, I believe we definitely do upload to YouTube. It's yeah, just it's 24 hours after. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, Twitch only keeps like five, like a month worth or else you have to pay. If, if you pay yeah. like a ton of money a month, they do keep your archives. But so I'm like, I don't make any money here. No, so it doesn't make sense. Unless I'm making $1,000 a month on this, I'm not keeping twitch archives yeah i'll put on youtube for free so 24 hours after just search for zero page homebrew you can watch like the other 50 episodes yeah. i'd go backwards not not forward. first <laughs> the first episode's super rough but you can see where we came yeah, from man. No, if you miss anything you can always yep. check it out later <laughs> more porn games and then <laughs> that's right <laughs> um some people wanted a random power up when picking up a stone in my honest opinion this takes away strategy what do you think i'd agree i'd agree totally i don't I mean, like Remember we were playing that one game that was like a what which is I think it was Unreal Tournament yes. two player yeah. and as soon as we switched we did the random and yeah. then we switched over it was way more fun playing that game when you had to cycle through and yeah. that was also James kicked my butt when we actually That's had to have strategy because <laughs> I would just randomly get missiles but I win and yeah. it was kind of like and it was almost like we were on the same tier but then as soon yeah. as we had other stuff it was so clear James was better and I was like <laughs> I think that's cooler in a game like you should be rewarded for being better at the game yeah um, I mean if so you... I like the build up because then you have to wait and, and build yeah. up the stones to get the really good power the invisibility I, power. That's hell super, yeah. Your your opponent's gonna die. If you had space and wanted to do like two versions, I would I would never object to that. Yeah. But um uh but if I would probably say that if you had to pick one, I definitely would pick the non random. Yeah, the non random. Um how is the AI? Is he too good? Well let's give it a oh, go. Oh let's see. This is your time to shine against the computer. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think this is the AI. I think I've got the right Isn't switch. It? We'll see as, as soon as he avoids his branch. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. So your objective is to kill him. Um... <laughs> there you go. In your face, AI. Um, how is the maximum speed? Should it get harder? Well, we really didn't... We didn't get too we far. Did... Just because of the little bugs, the I little think we might have done... I, I have, mean, that's an excuse. I mean, yeah, I don't like to blame others for my failures. <laughs> <laughs> I've played it on the computer, and the top speed is definitely not too fast. You could make it faster. I think it's a comfortable speed. I can do, like, really quick movements and go in between, like, a single branch uh, and get a stone. Like, go in and out and get a stone on the fastest speed. So you could increase it a bit. Um, to make it a little bit more challenging, I think. You're going to hit the maximum speed pretty quick here, I think. Yeah, man, I think so. <laughs> um... You almost got him. One more. Oh, oh. Somebody hit something. That's okay. Oh, no. See, oh, that's... You're still alive. I'm still you, alive. You racked up some hearts. You may want to get some more hearts. I'll do good. Okay, I think I was doing... Very... Oh. Give you another go. Cool. I, I, I was... I... Please... I would have done really well if it wasn't for... <laughs> oh, and also, uh, he got a label made for his game, which is on the screen right now. Uh, made by Steve Hammond. He's designing the box art and label. Looks great, in my opinion. Um, if you could give him a shout-out, that would be nice. Shout-out to Steve Hammond for making that uh, Monkey King artwork, which you can't fully see. I'm just going to kill the chat for just a second so you can see the whole thing. Uh, there we go. There we go. 
There. There's the whole artwork. Very cool, scary looking monkey dude with a wand and a helmet. It's and badass, a, man. And a very Aztecian look. It's got uh, uh, an eclipse going on in the background. I think it's pretty, pretty awesome. Oh no, see, it's, it happened again, man. Yeah. So I was, That's I was a little difficult. I was doing really well, and then, <laughs> and then, the and then I like lost the, the view. <laughs> Although. Yeah, this is a work in progress, so it's definitely not done yet. Um, but see, I'm actually back at full health. Impaler says it looks like me. That monkey looks like you? Really? Scary. <laughs> Dude, Impaler is a badass. The monkey's got black eyes. How is it? More sleep than motherfucker named Impaler. <laughs> Impaler should look like that. Shouldn't it? that's, that's great. That's an appropriate look for some that's guy correct. named Impaler. Slig Slog says I can. Yeah, possibly. Um, oh, see, I was doing really well, and then... And then the computer cheated. Yeah. <laughs> and blanked the screen out. Oh, yeah. at least you got your health. Oh, now no, you're... Oh, no, you're dead. Okay. No, actually, I'd say that the AI is pretty decent, man. Yeah. He was keeping pace with me, and I was like, it's, it's not too hard at all. The nice thing about the AI is that I feel like if I could... If I didn't have those things, we could have played for, like, a, a while bit. longer. So, not too bad. Oh, that's good. So, let's move on to the next game. I think we uh, put that one through its paces. Um, I think the rest are single player, so I'm gonna plug in the back in the Atari box. Okay, cool. Let me just make sure. Yeah, they're all single player. So let me just oh, switch back to our full screen so you can see our beautiful faces or my butt as I switch things out. Oh, too many things. Something fell in behind. There we go. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah. And we're back. So, the second game is mm. Night Guy in Low Res World. Cool. So, oh, there we go. Go select that. And I'll switch out the graphics so that it's appropriate. There we go. Night Guy in Low Res World. Um, the last game is available. All these games are available to download. All these versions of these games. The last one was available on the Atari Age forums. Um, this one is available on Facebook, actually. Um, so you will have to get it on Facebook out of the Atari Age um, Facebook group. The Harmony menu looks oh, like no. interlaced flicker does not work. It's it's iffy. Uh, there's technical <laughs> there's technical issues that I won't get into right now. Why the interlacing is a little crazy. Reset. Oh, I hate games you have to press reset on. Yeah. I want the just make the button Is there like reset. Is an attack I can do? Too loud. There we go. Yeah, it's it? constant music in this game. There we go. So this uh, game was made by John von Neumann, and this build uh, was made on the 26th of last month. Uh, and the notes for this is very little notes. I don't know where to get more information about this game. Uh, this is a new beta, 21 screens, not tested on actual hardware. Most of these developers don't oh. have hardware to make the games on, which baffles me. Yeah, see? Don't move yet. There we go. Um, obviously not tested on real hardware, or else it wouldn't have these issues. As long as those issues stay on screens that you don't die immediately on, it should be fine. Hmm. Um, link in work? comments. <laughs> I've noticed the Harmony laced issues for a while now. I just ignore it. Oh, fail. Um, yeah. Okay, the Harmony... <laughs> I'll explain it while you play. Why there's flicker on the Harmony cart. Oh, God. So, to draw those complex colors and very, um, you know, com fun. complex um, graphics that it has... <laughs> just walked off the cliff. It did. Uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'll do, I'll do the hit. I'll okay. Do 
Which one reset game? Yep. Um, <clears throat> it has to draw the graphics over and over again. That's what the Atari does, is draw graphics 60 times a second. Now, to get the complex stuff, it has to draw it, half of it, on one frame, and the other half on another frame, so it goes back and forth, and it gives the illusion of a static picture. Now, on a CRT, which normally these all these games used to be on, um, it used phosphoric glow <laughs> to maintain the illusion of motion and 30 frames a second, 60 frames interlaced to keep a picture on the screen. It kind of flashes the picture. But when it flashes and draws the picture on the screen, it dies off quickly. So on a CRT, you don't notice this, this back and forth flashing. But all of this is all digital and very quick. There's no die off. It's pixel exact, 60 frames a second. If there was drawing one pixel flashing at 60 frames, you'd see on, off, on, off, on, off, 60 times a second. Um, well, people are hating the music. I'm gonna turn way down. Because yeah. <laughs> there's no actual, I don't think, any sound effects in this game. No, it's just, it's just really music. loud music. And repeating Which... music. So, in the harmony... Jump on the black vertical line is like a rope. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, dude. Yeah, don't jump on the... Dude. Oh, fuck. You made it. No, I didn't. And then you went off went on off. the other side. Thanks, uh, thanks for the help. I was like... Okay. Um, so, okay, now we've got how it draws. Now it outputs these 60 frames a second into the upscaler device that I have, FrameMeister. And it captures these frames 60 times a second, encodes them, spits them out to the computer. So it just Crash gave up. Again. Okay, hold down the second button. Okay. So what happens if uh, you're oh, yeah. going all crazy and it uh, doesn't have a steady um, picture? It it eventually just crashes the whole thing, which is sad. It makes me sad. Okay. <laughs> the other games are a lot more stable. Um, These two are works in progress, eh? They are works in progress. So And, and he says he admits he, he does not have real hardware to test it on. It should be like a... Oh, see this... <laughs> That is also a problem of this game, Rip. is that it resets you in specific spots, and one of those spots is, like, right above the snake. Oh, see. So if you're pressing in the direction, the wrong direction, you'll just keep running into the snake and dying. So your respawn point is a wrong thing. Yeah, it's really hard. And the other thing that's interesting is, like, I still haven't been able to do this one without getting hurt by the snake. I'm sure it's possible. I just haven't, <laughs> I just haven't done it. It is very yet. possible. I'll have to watch you. Yeah, the, the, the name of the game, Night Guy in Low Res World, is pristine. Great name. Especially for a homebrew, man. Oh, it's like so it's... good. Um, okay, to continue on. Okay, if yes. this, the Frame Meister is expecting 60 frames a second. It's not yes, exactly 60, level. but we'll stick with 60. Um, oh my unfortunately, God. the Atari 2600 does not output a steady 59.94 frames per second. It is variable at all times. So, when you see it missing frames or dropping frames, it's because it actually is. It's, it's missing those frames. And it kind of goes off a little bit. So, oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna die because like, Oh, you missed the jump. Well, no, it's not uh. It's not just that I missed the jump. I don't have a screen to watch it. So <laughs> hey, you did it. So it's really hard. I mean, I'm watching go, it on the go, stream. Because go, go. <laughs> for whatever reason, it's it's going through the stream, but not. It's because the television isn't... The television's more picky. Oh, actually, the stream's steady. Because, see, like, I wonder if it's off, something on... But, see, now look at the, the stream. It's like, goes slow-mo and then... Go. Oh, no... So, you need to work on your product. <laughs> but, okay, we're not going to play that game anymore. I'll play it a little bit. I'll play once. Okay, okay. But it's broken. It's fairly broken for real systems. 
And then the other the thing, is like, oh, yeah, the line count is not so easy in, in, in Batari Basic. Oh, I see. And that's what it's made in, is in Batari Basic. When you're doing uh, it all yourself in assembly code, mm -hmm. it's, it's you hard. really do have to line count yourself. Uh, the Twitch stream software can only be showing 3060p30, 640p30, but you can change it to 720p60 or 1080p60 if you're fast. Oh, so yeah, if you are have a slow connection uh, and you're only seeing 30 frames a second, you're missing out. You should have this set to 60 frames a second. But I mean, if your internet's slow, it's cool. you can't do much about it. And, and we totally get it. What it's still the a work hell? in progress. I haven't managed to do it yet myself. Oh, he's changed this. It's really hard. Hold on, I got you. I got okay, you. thanks. I used to be able to jump quite easily off that off this platform. No, it's I've have I haven't been able to get it once. Because you used to be able to. You when you get to the top. Nope. Yeah, see, you can't avoid you, it. Yeah, it's almost like you have to. No, you do have to lose a life. He's changed that. You used to be able to jump off the block. Now you can't jump off the block. You can only fall off the block. So, like, you just lose a point. Yeah, automatically. Okay. It's no big deal. <laughs> Still a work in progress. Arena Foot apologizes for the programmer. <laughs> no, man. Yeah. It's all good. And it's dead completely. That's it for that game. Yeah. Uh, oh, we are still there. Oh, it's, just like, it's not totally I, I dead. A, you know, we got to get you to at least the next level, you know. Was, did I was, make it? Yeah, you that? did. You just got to wait now for the thing to come back. <laughs> but I, I must say, the mechanics in this game it's are... Cool are so far above any other game that I've ever seen Dude, on the this 2600. Is, this is going to be a really, really cool game. It's just because of the bugs. It's yeah. it. Like, I'm actually, like, really, really sad that I, I can't, like, push yeah. this. I want to play all 31 screens. It's going to be amazing. Every and it's cool. screen is different. And plus, the cool thing is, is that I like that you got to restart each time so you almost get good at yeah. um, the earlier stuff. Yeah, it's a little jumpy here and there. You can see, like, uh, uh, uh. The first one's hard, the second one's easy. Yeah, because then you get to the top with this guy. Goes, yeah, yeah, you got this. Bam. And they disappear as soon as you land on the platform, they go Pop. And then this one's cool. This is the labyrinth. Yeah, this one's cool. Like, everything is so unique, every level. It's so awesome. Oh, terrible time to... Well, you made no, it. No, I made it. It was safe. Yeah, yeah it's jumped. funny because, like, our... Our, our TV goes out, but then the one on the on the stream oh, no. works. But then sometimes the stream crashes too, so you you know it's definitely. It crashed my TV. <laughs> I had to reset my TV, which is kind of a funny concept. But the is it gonna come back? Come on, TV. my one. Come on. You can do it. Yep. Okay, the TV's back. And, and you can just, rebooted you, the you don't TV. You have to jump on this one. You can actually just walk onto it. Oh, Impaler74 says removing the game in-game music might help with the scan line count, yeah. Yeah, see, you go for a ride. Hell there yeah. we go. It's now, less, it's less what... nightly, for sure. See, this is, I had the same issue, and it's like, how do you... Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, now it's going to just fully crash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did I make it, or are we done? Oh, we're done. Yeah, it's too much for that to, for it to handle. You made it to the next level, didn't you? I did. After that. I fought through. <laughs> I fought through the crap. I managed to sort of do uh, it. Oh, yeah. oh, well, that's what we're doing here. We're playing on the edge. Trying we're these new the, games. We're on the cusp. No, yep. but I, before we move on with this one, I yep. just want to say that I really enjoy this. It's not... It's an amazing Honestly, concept. every everything has bugs everything that you, that we do has little glitches it's just that's the ironing out i'd love yeah. to replay this game without some of those glitches and it's going to be so much fun oh yeah that's like a, a marathon type game where you're like, uh, oh, I yeah. to like beat every level and like i can imagine if you get to like level 26 or something and you die and you're like i gotta do fucking levels 25 all the way through oh yeah and it would be fun also for the two of us because it'd be fun and be slightly competitive or be yes like, who be can like, make it to the james made it to tw probably 31 i made it to 10 <laughs> <laughs> oh i don't know about that you you doing pretty good there um so the next one we're going to do is Tire Tracks by Muddy Funster, who is in hey, Muddy. the chat. Welcome, welcome. 
Impaler 74, yep, Night Guy is a nice platformer. Yeah, I agree. It is amazing. Um, I also yeah, love the mechanics. branding, too. Like, it's, again, oh. perfect name, little character. Yeah, it is beautiful. Um, the Atari, as far as I know, the Atari Vox is still available. So it can output voices, and it can keep track of scores. Wow. It does a lot of cool things, especially the scores, which is really nice. Um, so this build release date is from yesterday. So this, Whoa. Is, this is fresh. As soon as it's 2018. Yeah, right Should there. I just go for it or should we, uh, no, do you want to? Go for it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Oh, no. oh, it's the button. That's right. This one does start with the button. So that's good. So tire tracks. Oh, oh. <laughs> good, oh. you got it. <laughs> Probably don't smash into the things. Is that that? Okay. I... Off the top, I have to say this is one of the best looking games I have ever seen on the 2600 in terms of graphics oh, and color. It is unbelievable. Like, just stop for a moment and take a look it's at beautiful. the colors. And there's a flamingo and a tree. Damn. Okay, we get it. Fortunately, you do have to. Um... I want to try game one again. Okay. Just, just so that I can like try to beat that score. Um, this is a clock racer where the player has to compete the course in the shortest possible oh time. God. Still a bunch of things to add, like an in-game reset switch function. Yes. 15.6. Instead of 20, that's better. So I'm going to tell you, I have a perfect score on the first three levels. Do you? <laughs> yeah, so I want you to try and get that, that score. Yeah, you can press reset. Okay. What's the perfect score? The perfect score on the first level is... And to achieve that, you have to press right the whole time as you're pressing the button to start and never let up and never run into anything. That's that's how you get it, right? How's this? 13.7? Nope. 13.5. Oh, so dude. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay. okay. Now you have to hold right before you start. Okay, and then I hit start. And then you hit start, and don't hit, and then don't hit anything. Don't let off the holding right. Oh, see, rip. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, parallax scrolling. Tons of parallax scrolling. The clouds move. Oh, dude, <laughs> what is happening? This is great. You went in the water, and there's like a dolphin. Look at this shit, and it's nine, nine, nine. It's like you, you. This is probably the most complex game you, over screen. It took you ever. ten minutes to, to to do this race. Okay. <laughs> Whew. The tree is moving faster than the swan. Yeah, it's a slow moving. Oh, see, you. damn. No, I will get it, James. I'll I get it eventually. I got this one pretty quick. Probably after like five games. Um, it's also a little bit like in terms of chance. It's a little bit. No. Oh, no. What is happening? Oh, you almost made it anyway. <laughs> That's weird. What? Did you let up on it at all? No. Okay. But who knows? Maybe I, maybe I did one. Oh god. Oh god. Nope. Oh nope. god. Nope. Okay. No good. Swimming with the fishies. Yep, that is exactly right. If not, more Atari Box oh. will be available quite Whew. soon. If you don't have one, uh, you will want one by Christmas. Oh, yes. Yes, you will. Actually, no. Why would you want one for Christmas? Anyway, you want one. Because they're cool. Because they keep track of scoring. Oh. Nope. Oh. Oh. So close. This is, so this close. is stressing me out. <laughs> Try the fourth level. It is unbelievably brutal. And the tracks are not randomized. They're all exactly the same. Is that right? Oh, what is going on? Maybe I it's think a bit I different did. on real hardware. Did you let off at all? Um, I must have. He might have changed it too, because this is a newer version than what I got the scores on. Okay, so cool. So I can't. You can't compare. Let's go to track two. Okay. I mean, I got um thirteen point six, so that's pretty good. That is. Okay. That's really good. Yeah, brown on brown. Oh. Look at, and look at this. There's the Beautiful. sunset reflecting in the water. It's as if... It's unbelievable. It's as if Lance Armstrong is just <laughs> two Popped miles ahead of me. That's right. He's just, He's just speeding ahead, shooting up. <laughs> That's right. Live strong. Taking his vitamins. <laughs> Live strong. <laughs> 
Okay. Twenty-four I, seconds. I feel like twenty-four seconds is 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 uh is not the ideal. Seventeen point six is what I got. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have to reset this. Oh, see, it's like already messed it up. You said it doesn't change. No, the pattern does at least on the fourth level because I was playing the fourth level a lot. Oh God. A lot. Oh God. <laughs> Better, right? You got better. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, some issues there when resetting. There we go. Oh, it's no. sick already. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can do it. I believe in you. I don't think it's maybe. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. You know the strategy. Stay near the middle when, oh, see, like... when you don't know what's coming. Right, because then you can move fast up and down. Better. <laughs> That's better. Okay. It's your last chance. Okay. She was stressing me out, man. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, oh. Devastating. Oh, he was... Uh, so close. Oh. oh. Okay, now we're moving on. Okay, okay. Had your chance. I, I gave it a go. I was like, oh man, I was doing so well. Okay. Oh, there's some issues still. So this is like kind of the winter-ish. It's a snowman and there's a shark in the water i hate it when you're cycling and you're just a snowman's just like right in On the, the middle road. of the road i know in rocks who are these kids mountain goats these and... snowmen you know and actually the detail on the graphics are is really good that's right thrusts i gained like these scream for uh high score saving oh yeah oh yeah this one for sure this needs atari oh, God. uh atari vox uh support so you should definitely talk to the people who run that and get a slot for your game because this needs, needs, needs high score. The game over screen color matches to each level. Oh, well, that's cool. If you swim. Oh, so you should go into the water. I'm going to go swim. I can do that. I was, I was, I was. Just drive what if. Oh, okay. So each of them is a little different. That's amazing. That's really awesome. Okay, so, so four, four now. Yeah, it is death incarnate. Okay. It is hell on earth. What if? What if? What if? What if I've been secretly <laughs> hiding my skills? Home? Yeah. And in fact, I was just. This is the dupe. <laughs> I'd be this impressed. is the dramatic. I'd be impressed. It's bloody hard. It's pumpkins. It's <laughs> oh, no. Venus flytraps. Jumpy. Oh, it's ghosts. But it looks beautiful with the dark sky and the reflective moon and the water. Was that E.T.? Uh, was it? <laughs> Look, it's E.T., I think. Look. The white guy? No, the, the red guy. Oh, I don't. I think he's like a devil dude. I think Let it's... Let me take a look again. I, I think it's E.T. E gray. I think... That, that guy? No. Check it out. Are you ready? I'll show you when E.T. shows. There we go. Look. He kind of got has got the head and the neck going That's right. on. That's right. I think it's E.T. Mud put an Easter egg game within the swimming screen? What? You can, like, do things in here? No. Press button. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Unless it's, like, the other joystick or something. <laughs> That's, Mr. Fix is like, you should move that thing closer. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. yes, you get in there. Show us well, how it's done. it's the configuration of the room. E.T. See, I think it's E.T. I don't know if it's cutting out on your end, probably not, but it cuts out on ours here. The TV is problematic. <laughs> I wonder if it's if it's like something on our end because if this is three in a row that we've had this issue on, you know. You know what? It could be. I mean, it is cutting out on the screen too. But that's I am going to do some resetting here and stop flaming.
listening to programmers. <laughs> Man, we got some we got some uh, uh, lab in the chat explaining how like score savings and Atari Vox works. Well, that's and cool because I don't know. We got some how that works. Oh yeah, there we go. So let's get back to this, and hopefully it's not as cutty out. I am using the cheapest HDMI cables I could find. <laughs> They're literally three dollar HDMI cables. <laughs> <laughs> They're super cheap. Oh, stream is dead. One second. That's what happens when you unplug everything. Let's get that going again. Cool. Sorry, guys. Just there taking us a moment. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back in black. Okay. Yeah, it is jumping. I can see that it kind of jumping a bit, like vertically. It's also such a complicated game. I think we've all might have just been playing honestly three. <laughs> yeah, complex games. Mr. Fix is I too am impressed with the graphics. Absolutely. Oh my god. Beautiful. Unbelievable. We have graphics. the reflection of the moon in the water. <laughs> like what other game has that? A reflection a flickering reflection of the moon. No, it's yeah. it's not quite good it's not working there's some jumpy technical difficulties please, please stand by it's yeah. correct arena sorry about this hold down oh there's some smelly cats oh, i gotta fix that it's just... uh, oh, yeah. oh it's all good oh, <laughs> okay back tire tracks boom this is my chance to shine james <laughs> is gone we'll get our high score Game number, okay. Four. Bam. Okay, good. Oh no. smell 30 <laughs> yeah i Is mean that's your best I, probably something like that oh. et because I, I if you ask me we have et little shop of horrors um what's what's something that has a pumpkin head right no pumpkin head. uh <laughs> i think film. like um uh there's, ah. there's one called uh trick or treat it's got a kid oh, with a yeah. pumpkin head and yes. we've got a ghost there so we've got we've got Casper, and then we have a cross, which is just twenty-seven. Like, yeah. So I think this is all movie references. Definitely horror themed. If you ask me. And then we've got like a uh, Ghost Mario. <laughs> <laughs> ghost Mario. Let's see. Yeah, it just stops you right in your tracks when you um. Into the water. Oh, man, 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 man. Uh, I'm trying to replicate the Monkey King crash, so it happened when you press the power press the power up, yes. Um Oh, it was when we shot um uh main, mainly when we hit branches, shot branches, or like when we uh when there's Added too much branches. on the screen. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful water death. So we will be moving on to the next game. Um oh I didn't read the rest of it. I always used to love... Okay, sorry. I have no idea how this plays on real hardware. I just don't have a Harmony cart to mm. test it. As I'm using a DPC Plus kernel, it doesn't work on my Uno cart. Inspiration. I always used to love games like Barnstorming and Grand Prix. This is totally like that. Barnstorming, you fly a plane. Yeah. Uh, avoid birds and go through barns and over, like, windmill things. And Grand Prix is just straight um, getting the fastest time racing cars um, by Activision where it's you versus the clock the game is inspired by those and also by the unique art style of the classic Activision but with the gradient sky 
That is very obvious and great job on it. I ride uh, my mountain bike a lot near where I live in the UK and we have a lot of canals. Oh, that's great. We're doing the 11 a.m. show because he can watch it because it's Perfect. a great time for people in Europe. Um, the idea for this game came when I was riding out along the towpath, having to avoid crazy old ladies and their yappy dogs, <laughs> fishermen, rocks, and the local chavs. Uh, probably everyone knows what chavs are, but punk would be the closest way to describe to our colonial friends in the U.S. Thank you. <laughs> I thought this would make a great Atari game, so I gave it a shot. In reality, the towpath isn't as wide as my game, but then if I, it was modeled too much on the real, I guess it wouldn't be much fun as a game. Yeah. yeah. You can't make things too realistic. Or they're not fun because they're way too hard. Yeah, people were suggesting in the forums things to jump over. Like, the button is not used in the game. Yeah. So you could use that as a, a jump of something that completely blocks your whole path. Like a log, a long log or something. That would be cool. Um, so, four game modes. Summertime, nice and simple. 15 obstacles. Sunset, a bit more challenging. More obstacles. 20. Winter, hard. 25 obstacles. Makes Rocks sense. start to be a bit closer as visibility is lower. Game 4, nighttime, more stuff, lower visibility, still tuning this. Yeah. So if you noticed, you may not have, that as the, it gets on the higher levels, the things get closer to you as they appear on the screen. Yeah, and they be, don't come up from off the screen. They're like three quarters. And there'd be like these moments where you would have like the only way is the very bottom and then the only way is the very top. Whoa, and it's just whoa, like this whoa. And then sometimes that's, it's right in the middle. That's some tough stuff. Fire or reset to start the game after selecting. Right to accelerate. Left to slow down. Who needs to slow yeah. down? <laughs> the only thing I think that I'm always a fan of is just being able to reset the game with a button. I think it's yeah. a big deal. It helps a lot. It's huge. Yeah. Um, all the big homebrews use it now. Just yeah. Because why not? I think if it's a game that's like, again, like a dungeon crawler is legit yeah. because it's just like a long and you're not really going to die. But something yeah. like this where you're resetting so much, if yeah. you want to keep playing, you know. It's just kind of a pain to reach over and, yeah. But he says he's going to add that. That will definitely be added. Or maybe he's talking about the jumping over thing. But it is on his list of to-do is the button reset. Yeah, yeah. It's early. He just put this out. It looks amazing. Oh, my God, yeah. Like, this screen is beautiful. So, to-do, this is very much a work in progress and a huge learning process for me. While a bunch of the game mechanics are present, there's a lot of stuff to add, tidy up, and improve. But it's a point where I'm happy to show it. Yeah, it's definitely at that point where it's oh, like, yeah. here's the and game. And this is impressive. Yeah. Partially done reset function in game. Been having a devil's time with it, getting the reset retrainer to work, but that's on the to do list. Cool. Um, that's great to title hear. music and more sounds in the game. Uh, better, better obstacle sprites. They're pretty damn good already. Oh, they're great. Animated obstacles. Wow, mm. that's cool. Uh, game over restart. Uh, reset at end on splash. Right now it just locks in a loop. It's cool. Loop. If you really wanted to mess with us, you could have a moving obstacle. Yeah. That would be. That's what I was thinking, that too. That would mess with it. Like a, like a it little kid up running and... up and down that you got to yeah. dodge. Very much like Or, like, or a dog. Yep. That would, because you would come, comes back to your, like, um, thing of, like, you were dodging people's dogs. It would be neat if there was a dog that would just go up and down. Or, right. Or a person and a dog, and the dog can move only one space up and down, so you have to really go around them. Yeah. Yeah. That would be really interesting. Yeah, the dog can only go so far or something. Um, yeah, moving, weaving obstacles. So oh, got that. oh, there we go. A splash animation if you hit the water. <laughs> wow. Uh, various code ef efficiencies, tweaks to do things like the clouds are jittering, difficulty switch implementation, um, joystick start, menu navigation, and fire button restart. restart. So Perfect. all those things. Wow, it sounds there. like, um, I mean, it already looks amazing. The sunset on game number two, not sure how it translates on real hardware. Yeah, let's look at this. Okay, press the button. It looks am amazing. Like, look at the clouds. I've never seen that. Like, the bottom underside of the clouds is got a gradient of pinks and oranges as the sun is setting. <gasps> Unbelievable. Absolutely. So and then also we got the tree moving with us. Yeah. Look and at that. And the clouds at different speeds. Amazing. It's unbelievable. Um, you could have the... Uh, instead of when you reach the goal and have the animation stop of the clouds, the clouds can keep moving. Um, 
Totally. I mean, it's harder to program, but obviously the tree won't move because that's a relative thing. But and it's it's up to you. This is just my insanity. <laughs> but the only thing is, is that the reflection there should be like this the sun sort sun. of like just even like right where the green thing is, like right. a tiny little edge of a sun, so that the it's reflecting Something. like a light source. And yeah, is, that's what I saw, thought too when I saw it. it's like what is it reflecting? The well, moon is reflecting the moon. Exactly. Yeah. And but you have to remember that like I have worked as a cinematographer, oh. yeah. so I've stared at lights my whole life so i'm very sensitive to like lighting motivation for like movies and games and stuff so i think that is a note that is just literally coming from someone <laughs> yeah. who's spent thousands of hours having to light <laughs> scenes and movies so yeah i don't think for the average person that is the tiniest detail on the planet but it, it is the case where it'd be nice to have just even a little bit just a tiny bit yeah and um i supposed to says hey my satan's hollow has clouds like that <laughs> <laughs> okay Sorry, I probably forgot. We see a lot of games. Um, and Thrust26 says, wait for Anteater's Clouds. Oh, very cool. Ooh. Um, and there's a I like there's like a, there's like, there's like, there's like a quiet, <laughs> nice competition with the developers. We made better the graphics. We like, made hey, better. guys. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to four. Game four. Press the button down. Oh, yeah, cool. And this one is a uh, Tari Tari. Temple by Titus oh. Renegade. So hopefully this doesn't have glitches or I'm going to start getting, questioning get my hardware. hardware. Yeah, hardware. man. And I do apologize if it is my hardware and it's not the games. It's been I've... just a weird day. Look, the microphone and... Yeah, it could be. You never just know. a little bit off. So, oh, it says his name is Ross Adkin, a.k.a. Titus Renegade. And this Ooh. was released a little while ago. He hasn't updated this in a while. Um... A little dark. Seems a little dark. Okay. What's, um, what's this was this? released on January, February, March, April, April sixteenth, and you can get this on the Atari Age forums. Oh, I see what's up. I see what's up. So this is kind of like Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones type type game, where uh, obviously because there's a boulder coming after you. Okay, I see. And arrows coming out of the walls. Um. Oh, it's only like three levels. Oh no. There's lots. Or maybe there's three levels with variations. Oh, yeah. See, this is like... <laughs> right into the air. I know. It's bad <laughs> news, man. Oh, I see what's up. It's just getting harder. Uh, oh, it needs a name change, as the name means, like, Dick Temple in Sweden. Is Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, Koo 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 means dick. <laughs> or at least it sounds like you ran into the boulder. Game over. 1,200 points again um i wanted to share the game i've been working on escape from cuckoo Koo temple sorry for saying dick over and over again oh switch the pick sorry oh thanks guys thank you very much I'll see there you go like here's easy. my graphic that i worked on well, this isn't hard. um the controls left right move the player fire hold down to make you run faster so you can see. oh wow yeah okay. so if you have to run through a difficult part you can uh, speed up Wow. Uh, down, when falling, hold to fall quicker. Oh, so you can actually speed up your falling rate. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck. I was, just, I, was like, I was like, I'm doing really well. No. Now, now you'd like learn. Oh, yeah, I can speed it fall up a little quicker. bit. Uh, the game is simple. It's a platform game where you need to run and avoid objects, which increase in quantity and speed as the levels go on. It's built off the Shifty Lifty base game that I created, which we'll be playing in an upcoming episode. I think next one, maybe. Um, the current version is fairly complete game-wise, though I welcome any comments. Oh, see. There's more flicker than I was hoping for. It's not, no, man. It's and not also, I think your hardware is doing good. I haven't had any issues. No, just in the game over um, which screen, is which makes sense. Anytime it switches a screen and it's not perfectly programmed... It will it will cut out because oh, oh you died that's why <laughs> uh, okay. there's no sound currently as I'm having a hassle trying to come up with any decent music uh, if anyone has some suitable guitar based or compatible music that they want to contribute that would be great I haven't tested on actual hardware see we're doing a service yeah we're doing a lot of a this lot is of... good so people can see it on real hardware oh see I always do that <laughs> I'm such an idiot I'm just like just keep so, running so cavalier. Um, let's see uh, actual hardware if anybody has a melody cart and could test it that would be great no problem 
We're doing it right now. And I've messaged all these guys before we play the games so that they can, um, they can either come. come into the... Which he's here, which is great. Either come and watch or watch it later on YouTube because I let them know that um, it's also archived on YouTube. So I gotta just not... I just not is, this is the hardest level. Everything else is yep, really down. easy. One? No, it's that one because this one isn't hard because you just run... And yeah. then you make sure you dodge it, and then you just, like, run like a crazy person. But this, this one. one's the hardest, because, like, when I get to the edge, I have to then remember. Stop a bit. And then I got to, oh, the see boulder's that? boulder's coming. The boulder got me. And then now I got to kind of go through. There and, you go. And see, now I've, like, never died on this one. <laughs> I've never died on this one. <laughs> now, I shouldn't say never. Yeah, because now I'm but gonna rarely. Die. But it's not like, um. Note this game uses DPC+, plus, so it has to be a melody Oh, see, card. I died again. Uh, also, only NTSC, NTSC download below. For now, I'll upload a PAL-60 soon. Hope you guys enjoy it. If anyone has better suggestions for the game name, I'm open to suggestions. Uh, it turns out that a name you come up with after a few beers seems less sensible every time you see it. Actually, I find the opposite. Is when you name something, it's weird at first, but then it gets you get used to the name, and it's like, no, that's the name. I feel the same. And, like, names are really hard... Oh my god, yeah. Names of movies, names of bands. Oh I've god. had to name bands. Naming characters in movies, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, I'm writing a, a like a bigger film right now, and me and my writing partner, we spent like a... Like a, like a like Is that almost... the one with like the tons of characters? Yeah, we spent yeah. like a day just being like, what's this person called? Because <laughs> I know that the thing is, is once you get used to it, it's really hard to change it. Oh, yeah. So it's like a, a character in a movie you just spend like so long going through. And, you, they ha and he's giving them an identity, right? It is, like, and usually there's some reasoning behind it. You know a person with that name, or there's some historical person from mythology Hell or, yeah. you know, and, history that shares that name, that and has the characteristic. And honestly, age is a big deal, right? Because if oh, someone is, yeah. like, in their 60s... You're not going to be naming somebody Misty. No. That's in their 60s. Well, maybe. You might, but it's also, like, uh, like an older character where, like, we came up with Eddie. Because then Eddie feels like an older name. But I, yes. it would be weird to meet, like, a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a 20-year-old Eddie. You'd just be it like... Would. And then, like, Fanny was one that was kind of Oh, that's an neat. old name. Yeah, you know? But then, it, so it is, it like... It has to be age-appropriate, yeah. It's got to be. And there's so much to think about. Uh, Coo 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 is a, a bit a weird. You know what I thought but when I first Escape heard it? from Blank Temple is good. That's a good test. Oh, that's... dude, look at this. This shit just got <laughs> off <laughs> the hook. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, Yeah, it's uh, okay. serious business now. Okay, this use is that button. damage... Uh, this is your last life. Uh... Challenge difficulty oh, oh. seriously popped up. Okay, now that's cool. Twenty eight forty five. Escape from the Temple of Doom. Eh, don't want to use names that are already established names in movies or Escape anything. Escape from the Temple. Escape. Escape from the Crystal. Yes, man, Mr. Fix, do oh, it. Oh man. Escape from the Crystal Temple. <laughs> That's like the a lost. <laughs> oh, escape from the lost crystal temple. Escape from the lost, uh, the crusade Oops. of the lost crystal <laughs> temple. <laughs> oh my god, you could you could do that. You could go for that. You could do that. Because you could get away with that many mixes. <laughs> that would be funny. It becomes like it's like I wonder what we're referencing. <laughs> hmm. And Shia LaBeouf does not swing with monkeys, so we're all uh, we're okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's no monkey swinging going on in here. No <laughs> hundreds of digital monkeys that seem to be like pals with Shia LaBeouf. That's right. All of a sudden, that have never met him. That, that's <laughs> what pisses me off in movies. Probably one of the most. Not, not digital monkeys, but where there's a character in a film that's later on in the film that somehow sympathizes with the protagonist instantly having never met them before um, and not knowing the history of what they've gone through in the film but somehow understands their plight That's inherently right. it's just and it's like yeah buddy i'll help you out it's like you don't you don't know this person it's just a random stranger 
Yeah, and they're like, and it's also the trope is it's always a woman who just drops everything in her life for the oh, hero. Sometimes she has man. like a kid, and it's like there's a movie called Mercury Rising with Bruce Willis where oh, she I has a that. kid, and she's like, oh, clearly I need to help you, and she just ditches her kid to oh, like run my. around with Bruce Willis. I don't oh, know if anyone's terrible. seen this movie. And then they get together in the end, and like of Bruce course. Willis never spends any time with his kid either. <laughs> it's so good. Oh man, <laughs> this... Happy Boulder. Temple Run, Temple College of Philadelphia. <laughs> That's better. That's the, one of the better ones. <laughs> oh. The the other thing she, I yeah. have to I have to be honest. When I heard coo coo coo, I thought KKK. Oh yeah, that's which a is bad a, which is a idea. bad comparison. To, which I obviously I was like, no, maybe I'm a I'm a, I'm a shitty person much. for thinking that. But then it's also like it is like three Ks right it next is. to each other. Especially if you capitalize them. Yeah. It's gonna be a rough go. <laughs> the coo coo coo. You may yeah. The premise, like Escape from Blah Temple, awesome. The fun. I would go for that fun name of that big, huge mix of yeah, of of Indiana Jones references. Yeah. <laughs> the the last crusade of the Crystal Temple. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that works. <laughs> what about suggestions for the game? I think it's pretty it's pretty good. I mean, there's only three levels. Maybe add a fourth, but I mean. The ramp up is good. Like it's difficulty great. ramp up's good. The colors are good. I like the kind of. Oh God. See, it's the toughest one, man. I you like don't... the premise. Oh my God! Ah! And I now, now you're feeling my pain. Yes. <laughs> this is right. Escape from the unnamed Crystal Boulder Temple of Doom. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't put Temple of Doom in a row, but as something like that. Yeah, this is the hard one. This is the hardest one. The other ones are too easy. Maybe, if anything, make the other ones... Like, this one is like... Yeah, it's, I don't know how never, you could not... You never die on it. I bet you it's going to get harder in, like, the, the other difficulties. Yeah. It has to. Like, put more arrows. Like, there's only two arrows on that one where you fall down. Like, when I go to it, watch after this yeah it's I, like it's, there's it's impossible to, arrows. like and even the boulder like, like yeah it never is poses a threat like put uh, more arrows all all over the place um, arrows in opposite direction yes thrust yeah because then you gotta time it yes and also these guys don't have to all be on the mm. same um line too because they all have the same frequency yeah, they could go at different speeds. Uh, like this arrows. one here. Yeah, they all move at the same rate. Maybe that's a simplest for simplicity's sake. Yeah, but that one's fine. That's like the hardest level, so I mean, yeah. that's no issue at you all. Wanna, you don't want to, you don't want to mess with that. Make it even harder. And this one, that one would be neat if there were more gaps in between too. This was a good one though. This is hard. Yeah, this one's. But yeah, see, like uh, it's, it's just never. Not, just, I don't think we've ever died on it. Huh. See, this is where I was. Oh yeah, this is this is can only do yeah, one at a time, wait really. It, and then just like wait, I, I'm curious what the next level looks like. That's where you died. This this is just too. F oh, see, oh, that's the killer when it. Yeah. Ah, bam. Booby trap temple. Uh, uh, so good stuff. Good stuff. Actually, I want to get into. Let's get into the terminology now. Cool. Of games while you play. I'm just gonna like uh, race through because because I lo you lost a, a health at the beginning, so then now I can yeah. play full health. Um, so I'm gonna reference um, Brian Mathern's book, who is Arena Foot, in the chat for everyone out there. Um, he has written two books and has plenty more coming on exclusively on homebrew, which is what we do on this show is just homebrew. Now I suppose to corrected me on his game that he did some of his games were not works in progress i said off the top of the show they were kind of kind of demos or um what did I, what did i call them um they weren't demos because demo implies something else entirely as well uh what did i say they were mock-ups mock-ups cool so kind of um proving that it could be done because what he does is he makes the screen makes the sprites makes the movement 
but not everything's there. Maybe things don't hit, don't collide properly. There's no hit detection. But he, he shows that it's totally possible. Um, so let's just go through some definitions. Obviously, everything we play on the show falls under homebrew. Yes. Even hacks fall under homebrew because you are making it yourself. Oh, it's like a subcategory, a hack. And we played some hacks before. And hacks are taking somebody else's already done game. Oh, death. That's okay. Oh, started over. Already done game and changing some of it. Um, but normally homebrew is from scratch. You made everything yourself. Maybe some, some routines you borrowed or used and changed from somebody else, but not the whole game. Um, abandoned. Um, that's a game that was started, but, but never finished. And some of the games we play on here, I, we could term abandoned, like the next game you could term abandoned well, because like, it's last time it was updated was 12 years ago yeah that like homestar runner one. Oh yeah that's long abandoned yes, i mean i think true. he said that it was more like a proof of like here's what we could do yeah but um that was definitely like an abandoned game because the people who asked him to do the game just never continued working with him it's just done it's like no you, you can't do anything more and you can't really when you're using a licensed name you have to keep getting have a, a working relationship with the person who owns a license. Um, um, convert about conversion. A conversion. Um, similar to a hack. Oh, no, that's not what I thought it was. A demake, yes. Taking a modern video game and recreating it into a vintage video game. That would be very similar to... Unreal Tournament. Unreal Tournament. Halo 2600. Um, there's a oh, number fuck. of them. And usually because the new game is too complex. Like there, it's either 3D or it uses super crazy um, graphics. Oh, oh, can you make it through this level? This is the one, right? All right. See, and now Arrow's like it's the same, same. same shit. Oof, that's fast. Oh, God. oh no. Oh, oh. death. <laughs> two deaths in a row. Oh, that's quite the ramp up, though, man. Yep. I got there with full health. Wow. Um, but then I like, then I accidentally like hit it and I was like, so there's a wall in this game. Yeah, you might like, want to, um, I don't know if that's the only complaint I'd have. It might be nice to sort of have a little bit more of a gradual build up to that. You, you play for quite a while I before guess so. you get there. I, I, I don't think it's inappropriate. It's you not inappropriate, but, all, but like all of a sudden like it was the second round was like, yeah. was like holy cow. Cause Temple just, dash. Because let me show not you. Bad. We'll see if we get there simple. again. If you wanted a simple, non kind of cheesy name, Temple Dash, that's a good one. Good suggestion, Irk the Jerk. Um, oh, uh, D-Make, yeah. <clears throat> uh, demo. We don't really play demos on this. Demos, usually you can't even play it. Like, you can't interact with it. I guess that Homestar Runner one, there was, like, a version that was, like, a demo. Yeah, because you That's couldn't... probably the closest to, yeah. like, a demo that we've done. And wh what would you call that one that we played last time that was, like, um, uh, the, the shapes that you go around? It was, like, a puzzle game? Shapes you go around. Yeah, do you remember it, more info. Oh, sorry. It had like a different patterns and you had to bounce a ball. And it was like, um, and it had different, you had to like make sure that like in one move you you crossed off all of them. It felt like almost like, uh, and you were like, Tanya would really like this one. What? Oh my God. Um, it had like. Uh, it sounds so abstract. I'm not getting it. <laughs> oh, it had trampolines, which you jump on and it was like squares. Oh. And you had to like basically in one move knock all of the like little little square boxes. Oh my God, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, Bounce. It's... Bounce, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that's a complete game. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, it's a demo version of a complete game. Um, yeah, yeah, see, so, so check this a... out, right? This isn't hard. No. This is like challenging. It's just dash. But you Go. just dash. So then check out this ramp up though. So this stuff here, boom, Same no problem. Kind of... oh, oh fuck. See? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I gotta I'm gonna get back there because I wanna show you what the next level is like. Cause this is where uh, hack. Alteration alternation? Alteration of a release video game. Spell check. Uh, homebrew, an original program video game that is completed. Well, not completed, because it could be homebrew in, in progress. Because it Works in progress are still homebrew. Uh, homebrew reproduction. Reproduction. A reprint of a homebrew video game that is out of, out of print. Um, true. Yeah. A reproduction, I would say more, would be an illegal one. 
because <laughs> if you're, I would say it's a reprint or a reissue more than a reproduction. Reproduction brings to mind illegal people doing illegal things. Yeah. It's like, no, this is a reproduction, not the actual legit copy. Uh, a port. An actual video game released on other another platform brought to the Atari VCS 2600. A port and a demake kind of get into a uh, gray area because sometimes, you know, a port will be a lower quality on a 2600 than another system because it just doesn't have some capabilities. Um, but with the homebrew programmers today, that... Oh, maybe some screens where the ceiling's floors cave in. Ooh. Flop. Oh, the, the things can fall from the sky. So this scene, this, or you have this, to jump arrow, over. this level needs some work. Yeah, okay, the arrows so. need ramping up. That arrow level, it just so doesn't check get this harder. out, right? This, this gets harder. This though. isn't hard. I want you to see the ramp up on this stuff, right? <laughs> so this isn't too bad. Like, yeah. um, I can do this. Now, this one is possible right yeah you've had enough practice it's not now. too bad so now this one is nothing like <laughs> you know what i mean and it's it's yeah, not even, even a question down. but now look at this like impossible uh it's impossible you see what actually. i mean that's what i mean where i was like the ramp of like i don't know how you <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's too fast that see, so that was what i meant when i was like we need some oh, gradual because yeah. that was like because I, I don't know how i could probably do it if I tried it again, because you did, you did make it. I did, but it's, to the second it's, part, it's possible, <laughs> but it's so hard. Oh yeah, so that would be like there's that point where it's just like I don't, I, I would have to work pretty yeah. hard to get past that. Two different types of demos. There's a demo where it's a non-game, it's like a tech demo. It's like this is what a system can do, where there's no interaction. There's lots of those. They go into competitions. Then there's the demo that we did talk about, where it's like no, here's a part of a game to show off so you buy the full game that's usually what demos are for and um they used to be also shareware demo back in the 90s where they would release um through bbs's or the internet here's the first three levels of the game and you go to the store and buy the full one and so that's another kind of de demo um blizzard did that Oh, did they? Yeah. Yeah, where they give away a free version. And oh, they then... give away the first level of like, yeah. games. Back in the day, they used to do that a lot. Yeah, and it's a great way to sell it because that'll get passed around and people play it and they'll get a good idea of it, whether they want to drop 50 or however much money on it, right? A proposal, a suggested idea for a video game. So that's not even a playable thing. It's yeah. just somebody writes something up and wishes somebody plays it's like, it. like, hey, guys. Or wish somebody Someone makes, makes it. it for them. Or they make it eventually. I get a lot of those. For other things. Hey, but... I got a great idea for a movie. I know. If you could just spend all your time I'm... doing this. Yeah, why didn't you spend all your, your money? <laughs> it's like, yeah, sounds great. This, you, you want to give brothers me money? go on a road trip. <laughs> there's <laughs> then, zombie apocalypse, but uh, they fall. The you know, zombie, it's always yeah. great shit like that. Uh the zombie movies. Will they ever stop being made? No. no. <laughs> Here's a new twist on the zombie genre. It's like. Mm, Kinda. It's a zombie love story. <laughs> done. It's, been done. It is done. Warm bodies. I know. And it was almost good. It was. Oh, it was the first part was was decent, and the second half was just it. a stupid. This Check is the out. hard one, right? Don't move too far. The boulder come out. Damn. Oh, you did it. Oh. oh, you made it to the second part. Yeah, I think I can do it. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what the next one's like after that. Yeah, one more chance, and uh, then we'll move on. Sounds good. Um, prototype. A video game that was being developed by a video game company back in the day but never released for for sale, usually early stages of the game found on a loaner cartridge many years later, which is the, what was, uh, oh, Keystone Capers 2 falls under that the thing we discussed recently, where he found it and now he's redoing it from scratch. I don't, I don't know what that would be called. I think it's I... taking a game... Of the same person who made it. So check but... this out. Potential bug, right? Look. Yeah. No boulder. Oh, it doesn't go till you move. Right. Look at this. And then I move. Even when I move, it doesn't. Well, that's being fair. Watch it. this. It goes. It's not until I get to like. It's probably. Being it's not fair. until I fall. That's fine. Well, no, but I think that would be cool. That would be cooler. Like to keep you moving. Yeah, yeah. It keeps the yeah. energy going. At the very least, for that level, because like, I mean, that's how that level is like. Because it it doesn't do that for any of the other levels. Like, it does, like, until no. you start moving. Watch this. See? 
Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's okay. a certain point. About half, almost halfway across the screen. Oh, I see. Okay, that's nice. So that's you have nice. a little breather This gives us a second want. or two. Yeah. yeah this, but this but then, one should but, maybe. But this one's like impossible not to <laughs> die. Like, it's just yeah. like. It's too easy. Yeah. Yeah. So any suggestion, that would be. Uh, re Rebadges. Original game title changed due to copyrights. Oh, so that would be um, Keystone Capers 2 would be a rebadge. So there is a definition here. A reproduction. Yes. Either a prototype or extremely rare, rare video game remade on a cartridge. Oh. Homebrew reproduction. See, you've got hmm. a ROM, a bin. That's what we play on here uh, for works in progress. We put it on the Harmony cartridge. It's a file um, that we play. And then a work in progress, WIP, not completed. Yeah. Which is what we do every set two out of three shows usually because there's a lot of works in progress mm. so we're good we ma i made it like to to the to the place which i i can't feel ashamed of me not making past uh, yeah, oh, yeah. that's, oh, that's okay. tough that's some pick some butt though uh, oh, yeah. that one we didn't have as many issues with no so i think my hardware's I fine so. it I only think... glitched out on the on the game over which yeah. that's what it does happen so we're going robot on to city. robot city which is a blast oh did we miss the title screen yeah i gotta reset it back to the title screen there we go oh cool come on tv get your shit together okay so you have to sh i'll give you a quick those guys are deadly. Don't get in front of them. Okay. You have to shoot them from behind. I see. That's the thing. And you have to get all five of them. I gotta get all five. That's yep. the game. Definitely do not get in front of them. You will die. There you go. Now loop around and get them from behind. Now don't touch them. Because you will... Yeah, oh, God. Because you will die. Okay. So this is uh, a very amazing game. I love this game. It's Robot City by Thomas Yentz. It's a, through our definitions, an abandoned work in progress. Wow. <laughs> because it's from 2006. No, you can't shoot them from the front. Okay. Only from behind. Wow. Okay, this is... Uh... And this is a, um, also a port of an Odyssey 2 game. So this wasn't, this isn't an original title. Oh, you died. Yeah, it's... No, this is... Can you press a button to start? Yes. Oh, sort of. I think it just times out. Um... I recently played this, I suppose it says, very intelligent AI. Yes. The AI is is like an unending robot kill. Oh, you were lucky. Oh, you were lucky there. No, he was turning. No, he was turning. There. In and your, you oh, ran into him, too. Okay, okay, damn. But he stays dead. Good, 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 good. Have you tried the 1K version, too? I did, where the graphics are, Holy like, um, a little bit less complex. You're so dead. <laughs> rip rip <laughs> from both sides oh my god okay this is cool oh there's only four guys what weird oh and they can kill each other if you kind of get yeah there you go you got him to kill the other guy yeah. oh no he just disables him oh so he can't kill the other guy wow just disables him for tactics a dude holy yeah. cow oh yeah this, this is, is all about you know tactics yes. and getting and there's a time limit which is almost done Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, it reset. Okay. Every life it resets. Um, Thomas Yentz, uh, author of Thrust for the Atari 2600, has started to work. This is like wow. an explanation from 2002. Um, so, yeah, this game is uh, 16 years old when he wow. first started making it. Making this game? Yeah, 16 years ago. Holy cow. I can understand why you banned it because, I mean, like. But it's almost done, I think. So, oh. It's like. Is it not done? I, yeah, I don't know what else it looks it amazing. Needs. I don't know what else it needs to have done. But I mean, like, you know, I can understand, like, if you work on something for 16 years. <laughs> well, he worked on it, I, as far as I can tell, from oh, 2002 dude, copies, to 2006. Oh, no. um, Is it the Frame Meister? I can only see two and then the other two. No, you're watching it at 30 frames a second. Oh, no. You need to watch the stream at 60 frames a second. Um, so if you can. Oh, my God. Baby's going nuts. 
Um, so you're probably at a lower resolution. You need oh, to up. No. Unless you're watching oh, on a no. TV as well that is only 30 frames a second. So it depends how you're watching it. But you need to watch it on something that can display 60 frames a second. A tablet, a phone, oh, 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 um, a computer. Oh, God. Yeah, so if you've been watching this whole thing at 60, at, at 30 frames a second, you're missing half the picture. Everything that you've been watching. It's, it would look very strange and weird. Wow, this is a, this is a, this is a game. Super strategy. Holy. I'm, like, super strategy in this game. I can't even get past the first level. <laughs> <laughs> this is serious. You, you've got up to one guy? So I've far. gotten two guys. Two guys. So, you, I mean. You're dead. You're dead. Rip. Rip. It's <laughs> so good. Uh, has started to work on a new 2600 game called Robot City. Robot City is an 8K unreleased prototype on the Odyssey 2. Oh, so it never even got finished on the Odyssey 2. Oh, God. Uh, Thomas has thus far managed to squeeze it into a 2K on the 2600. This is what we're playing it on is a 2K. Um, What's the difference? What do they mean by 8 or 2K? Is that just the amount of uh, data they're using? Yeah. Um, it's, it's kind of a, a thing that programmers try and do sometimes is God. when the Atari first came out, games were as small as 2K. I don't think 1K was ever released. And that's how many, you know, bytes of God. data they have to make the graphics, the code, the music. And because Atari was cheap and all these other companies were cheap because they had to make millions of these cartridges, they're like, yeah, in order to us to make some cash, you're going to have to squeeze this onto 2K yeah. or 4K, and we make more profit. And the guy's like, uh, okay, it's going to be shit, but I'll make uh, Pac-Man and 4K. <laughs> and so um, that's what it means. They're, they're putting it in a certain amount, you're dead again, a certain amount of space. Um, so nowadays when homebrew, uh, programmers, they have almost unlimited space. It's, it's not expensive, but they sometimes challenge themselves to work within the constraints of the programmers did back in the day. So they don't use any of the coprocessor chips, um, uh, and they work within like 4k or 2k, or they enter into competitions too. It's like, who can make the best game in this small of a space? Best sound, best graphics. Usually those for, are for demos, that where it's non-playable things. But sometimes it's for games. It's like, oh, who can make the best 1K game? Because, or one, 1K one-player game, usually, right? A Cool Crab says it's a very good 4K Pac-Man. Yes, there's a lot of good Pac-Mans. And speaking of which... We're going to have an all Pac-Man day. Really? Because there's like six versions, homebrew versions of Pac-Man. Pac-Man's a so universal game, out. man. It is. It's simple. You go through a maze, eat the dots, avoid the ghosts. Everybody can understand it. All right. Oh, you caught him on a turn. Oh, you're getting cornered. There you go. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, lucky break. There you go. Oh, get him. Oh. Don't get too close. Don't get too close. There you go. Two out of four. Yeah, we're doing a Pac-Man day coming he's up. He's like not even Oh, they dead. recover. What? I know. Oh, oh, I didn't know they recovered. Difficulty level of this <laughs> stuff is... Uh, the premise is very simple. You're a helicopter in a maze filled with tanks trying to kill you. Of course, you must kill them first with your gun. But the tanks have a shield... And can only be disabled when hit in the rear where they are unprotected. Oh, they are. They don't have the shield around the back of them. That's right. Isn't that oh, cool? Oh, wow. That's awesome. And now they do have a shield. I and guess. they regenerate too, man. Uh, so it's like you got to disable gotta keep all of them. And you have a general timer too. Oh, you almost got them. Um, development is continuing continuing rapidly. This latest, latest version is not. It's not. It's not. We have a newer version. Um, so when I contacted Thomas about saying that, oh, I'm going to play this game, he dug through his archives and found a newer version wow. than what was ever posted in the decades. So he, this is like the newest version that was just released um, like days ago and has never been posted before. Oh, man. Um, built-in maze generator, uh, oh, improvements and changes include built-in maze generator, wall density can be, 
Oh, can be changed with left difficulty. Improved fuel display. Hitting tanks from the back is more tolerant. Larger tank missiles, some minor bug fix. Oh. Thomas is looking for feedback so he can improve on this game. This is 2006. Dude, I, I gotta get past the first level before <laughs> I deserve to get any I have any beaten the first level, feedback. so you gotta do it. Um, oh, so he can improve you. the game as it continues to develop it. Oh, they repair each other. So you gotta keep them away from each other. Oh, oh that's how... Oh, it doesn't explain that. Um, so I, I also picked out the description of Robot City on an Odyssey to get some more insight. The lethal and merciless Andromeda robots managed to build a city on Earth called Robot City. Cool. From where they will try to conquer the Earth. The player infiltrated the city and must destroy all the robots. Robot City is a maze shooter. The player controls a robot trying to destroy the Andromeda robots inside a maze. The Andromeda robots have force fields and can only be destroyed by shooting being shot in their back. They only shoot forward and will do so whenever the player crosses their line of fire, even when walls are in the way. If the player manages to make two Andromeda robots destroy each other, bonus points are awarded, 25 instead of the usual 10 for destroyed robots. The player is killed whenever hit by enemy fire or colliding with the Andromeda robots, yes. or their remains when destroyed. After killing all four robots in a level, the player progresses to the next, more difficult level. Oh, you got trapped. Uh, yeah. So, the AI will AI will try to corner you when they are when you are in their back. Uh, interesting. Yeah, just follow them. Follow them. That's the tactic. There you go. One more. It's come Don't at get me, trapped. buddy. No. Oh, you repaired him. Running out of time. Oh. Go get the red guy. I, uh, I'm doing my best. Go get him. Follow him. So follow hard. him. It's get so him. Hard. There you go. Okay. Now one more. You have like three seconds. Oh, you repaired them. Damn. This is ruthless. Okay, come get at me. Come get at it, me. Get it, get it, get him. Go, 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 go. Chase him, chase him. He's gonna he's gonna go. Yes! You did Dude, it. first level! That only took me <laughs> forty-five minutes. Oh my god. Oh my this is a cool game though. This is like very so immersive, good. very challenging. I'm like, I, I can tell when I, like, forget that you're here how I'm doing with the <laughs> game, you know? I'm like, because I, I was like, oh, he's reading stuff? Is all, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just right trying out. to kill these, uh, these, these robots. Get it. Get the green guy. Go, go, yes, go, you're go, right. go, go, go. Green. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay. No, don't get trapped. Come you're... come at me. Come at me. Come at me. I'm going to get you. Oh, I'm going to get careful, you. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, my God. Oh my go God. all the way. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. <sighs> Okay, okay, get down there so they don't yes. get you trapped up there. And they don't repair each other. Yes, that too. Because they, I think they home in on you pretty much, and they don't go repair. They just happen to run across and repair, I think. Okay, no, 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 no. No. Oh, no. God. If you're in front of them, you're dead. dead. You're so Rip. dead. Yeah, when I saw this, like Mud Huck, Muddy Huck, I like this very strategic. Yeah, when I saw this game... Because I, I like go through the forums, look for old games that I may have missed. Because there's there's classics. That, yes. And when I ran across this, I'm like, oh my god, this game is so yes. good. Yes, level oh three. Oh my god, though. Holy. Oh, look at that huge Holy. long corridors. Holy Those are death. Holy fuck. Those are death. Okay, okay. okay. Get in the small area. Oh, careful. Ooh. No, no, no. Yeah, like what do you do? I guess not that. That's... Impaler 74. Yes, I totally agree. This should be finished. But finished? Like, what? What's, What's there to do? This is great. <laughs> I mean, some timing things between levels. It could, like, stop for a second. Um, there's a slight jump when it goes to game over. Like, look at this, dude. Uh, look, what do you do? You're, what do you do? You you're just, dead. You just hope to God that they... <laughs> get, get, the, get the brown guy. Oh. oh. Yeah, it needs to hold when you die. When the last yeah. last life do goes, and and a press start and that kind of thing. Yeah, like what's there to do? It's this just is some timing. Also, things. we've had no glitches with this game at all. No, which is big deal. There's like a, a slight screen jump uh, when it goes to the title. That's it. Also, I've never played a game like this before. It's very no. inventive. Even the helicopter is really cool. And some sounds, I guess. Yeah. Damn it. It's okay. It's one okay. guy left. Got this. Just, just make sure he doesn't repair any of them. Yes. Uh, come on. Good Follow idea. Me. Lead Follow him away. Me. Follow me. Up here. That's what you got to do. You got to lead them. And then 
get them from behind. This is a tough area to do it though. You it need is. like a long corridor. This is yeah, that's your chance. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna go down there because. Ah, got trapped. It's tough. And the prob and there's more strategy because you're like blocking off your own escape. Like if you, okay, I got him. I got him. Come on, there you go. No repairs for you. So yeah, they can shoot their own guys, but then instantly repair them too. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Yeah, no. Mr. Fix no. is like this is a game where you appreciate completing a level. Absolutely <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Uh, what do you do? Oh, cats, buddy! Oh, shoot your shoot your friend! Shoot your hey. friend! Oh no! Damn it! Oh, are they fighting? Yeah, he's just biting his neck. I don't yeah. know why. They do that. No. Oh, he repaired him. The wild animals. To, it's to oh, he repaired him again. <laughs> uh, I'm dead. Yeah, they're just wild animals going off instinct, or being dicks. Yeah. <laughs> They're just ah. bored. They're like, yeah. They're they're like breeded to kill mice and <laughs> yes. wreck stuff, and they're like, <laughs> they're just too happy. That's right. We need oh, some they, conflict. Yeah. Oh my God, this level is so hard. The. Okay. Yeah, you got them on this round. Yeah, yeah. That's your there chance. There we go. Oh yeah, kill each other, please. Oh, then they repair each oh, other. Oh, I suppose is like, you missed my post three times saying sneak up behind them. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. I was so immersed. I was in. I yeah. was in the zone. I was just trying to figure it out. I should have listened to you. Him again. Oh, come on. There is a maze generator on it. Try reset for random mazes. Oh. oh. Okay. After this, we'll try the, all the options. Yes. The good thing is they can't really turn around. Oh. Damn no. it. Okay. So apparently there's um, wall thickness too. So let me try that. Robot City. I like the 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 the, the, the flicker too. Hmm. No, the wall flick, wall thickness doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe color black and white is the switch. No. That looks like a different Maybe. map. Yeah, it is. Um, so that, I, that's like the smiley face map in the yeah. top. Yeah. Got two eyes. And then there the was the other one was like had a long thing down the middle. Uh, I know it's the same. Yeah, there's one that you had that was like different. Can you fly by destroy tank? No, they kill you. Yeah, game reset doesn't do anything. Um, game reset. Yeah, you did one that changed it. Oh, yeah, look. There we go. Okay, game select while in the game changes well, the map. Oh, cool. So that's one. That's deadly. Oh, you have to hold down game select. There we go. See, that's the long one. There's that one. That one. Apparently, these are that random. One. Wow, these cool. Are totally random. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. This game has got a lot of stuff going on for it. Yeah, geez. And this is never put on cart. This is crazy to not put this on cart. This is like almost done. Like, what's. what's the, What's left? What else like, has seriously? this guy made again? You said. Oh he's, my um, God! Lots, 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 lots. He's one of the. He's one, he's of, one the, of the big the heavy hitters. Um. He said Thomas Yen. Thrust. Yeah. Thrust. Oh my God! I need a, a list. Here. Here you go. Okay, I'll cool. look him up. And look up all the games he's done. I don't want to. miss say which ones he's done thrust jammed swoops boulder dash 3s and star castle and funny enough we've only played star castle wow <laughs> on this so we have many more thomas yench games to play um we've played some of his non ones that aren't on this list too um oh there we go arena foot jammed thrust platform crash dive cave 1k did play cave 
Um, Star Castle. Which one was Star Castle again? Was that the That's one? That's the that... one with the rings. Oh and the yeah. Star... Oh my god, it was that so was hard. cool. That was. I didn't. I didn't beat the score. Like we played it again. Yeah. Tanya and I did, and I did couldn't beat my score from the day that we played. Yeah, I remember I had a good score at one point with that one. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Star Castle, Thomas sent some uh, corrections because I said some things that were not correct during. Oh, no. Where is that list? I said some things that were in incorrect during that broadcast. Um, just so that it's on the record. There we go. Because, you know, being the programmer, he doesn't want to, you know, have some things that were wrong, said incorrectly. Um, okay, Star Castle Arcade saves the scores on the cart, the cart itself. Because I was saying, oh, it saves the score on the Atari Vox. Yeah. Normally, that's where it does save it. Um, so, even if you don't have the Atari Vox, it will save the scores. And my scores got corrupted. Oh, did On they? On the second play around, they, they were like crazy names and crazy scores. Oh, no. It was weird, so I had to reset them. You have to play Thrust with the foot pedal, pedal controller. Oh, that would be super cool. Um, do I have a foot pedal controller? I don't think I do. Um, so, the, so Star Castle Arcade does not use DPC whatsoever. It is all stock Atari 2600 coding, which is amazing because it looks like such an advanced game that you would think it would use um, the accelerated um, chip on like uh, the the arm chip using DPC plus or anything like that but it doesn't it's all stock 2600 coding and he says that's very important to me which I would be too I'd be super proud of that game that's probably one of the most advanced games that doesn't use an, a coprocessor it's so crazy um, yes, there's an arm in the cart, but only for emulating um, the bank switching, because it needs to switch between banks, um, and for saving the high scores. So the game would have been completely feasible back even before Pitfall 2. He could have been could have been made because there was kind of a debate about um, Star Castle Arcade yeah. because they did start making it back in the 90s, 80s, 90s. And then somebody said, no, it's just not possible. We can't make this. So Thomas said, you know, stepped like, up to the plate. Was like, no, we can do this. We can do this. I've got a plan. Here we go. This is how we're going to do it. You don't need it. There's no multitasking. The 6507 cannot do that. What it does is for each routine, I calculated and measured the maximum CPU cycles required. And I, before I call a routine, I check how much CPU time is left. If the remaining time is too low, I wait until the next time slot. As simple as it sounds. No, it does not sound simple. It brings a lot of implications for the CPU utilization, synchronizing and lagging, etc. I'm going to put this up here. Don't like... Uh, oh, man, this one is just... I, I'm like... This is the Sisyphus of a game. <laughs> it is, you, you just it like, is challenging. Yeah! Like, it's like, I, they regenerated themselves, like, four times. It's like, oh, man. I'm like, oh. as soon as I got one, I'm like, boulder, just roll yeah, back. that's a problem. Just right back to the beginning. Uh, you don't get any points for mines. Maybe I said that. I know when I first, first played the game, I did read it out in the manual. But, yeah, you don't get any points for mines. And even if you stay on the first castle, the difficulty will ramp up with the score. So Castle 1 will be event eventually become hard as Castle 2 or 3, without, but without any extra ships. Bad idea. Any, strat any static strategy will only bring you so far, which is what I experienced the second time playing it around without you, is that I was doing worse. Really? Because I was sitting there doing like a, a, a static strategy and then moving a bit and shooting, but I just died on like the second level and above. <clears throat> Uh, so you better learn how to do that right and still be able to shoot the rings and the gun, yeah. Oh, see this guy. Is this uh, he said, since thrusting games are obviously you're not, type, not your type of game, I'm afraid you will struggle with thrust also. If you ever add that to your schedule, I, I will. I definitely will get to thrust. But it, yeah, it is not, that is not my type of game. 
where you're turning left and right and then you th and then you accelerate and then you turn and accelerate and there's momentum so hard yeah those are hard hard i feel like we were almost like balanced because it was just so, sort of something that like you don't typically do so yes. i had to like go at it i was like <laughs> i was able to slide in i'm level three mr fix says i could be wrong but wasn't yards revenges yards revenge atari's attempt at star castle castle yes so if you look at star castle and look at yards revenge yards revenge is kind of a flattened out version of star castle where the star castle is on the right hand side of the screen and the wall is flat instead of a circle um and they've and they they change some of the gameplay around where you get a super missile and all these things but yeah the guy still shoots out his thing there's instead of three mines there's one mine coming to get you that guy that just keeps going um so yeah and yards revenge was like the best selling it some qualifier i think it was like the best selling game ever on the 2600 i can't remember made it to level three though three i think that's where i and i was so close died. to getting it that's my best so far now did you start on a random level no no i started i oh. died on the random level and then i got like you went to the normal game yeah okay because that's cool because you have the normal game and then you can play oh oh my god terrible then you can play the random version of of the of the game which is cool this yeah. is a good game i like this game oh yeah super hard though <laughs> super hard but if you oh he's gonna repair him ah and he comes to kill me yes yards was uber popular had it too back oh yeah yards see, was a must see right now man i would just run down to that like bottom because like, i just don't want those guys resetting at all right oh yeah you, you know what i mean because i'm like i'm like uh, that's where i found myself that's true Come so, on down, come on down. Come yeah, because because right now it's manageable. Like one guy, hell yeah, you can get him. Oh yeah, but it's the mazes, the layout of the mazes that makes it super difficult. Get down here! See, oh, no, you it's faster. As I said, it's the Sisyphus of a game. You're just just over and over doing it over and over. Oh, now I'm trapped. <laughs> and actually, it does have rapid fire. Like if you hold down the button. But it doesn't really help. It doesn't matter. Because, I mean, at the end it's of the day, it's like. It's not about rapid fire. It's tactics, this game. 100% tactics. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's hard. You go up top, and it's got long corridors. That's right. You, you go, go down. in the bottom, and there's four of them trying to kill you. This level's nice balance because there's not. There's tiny little spots everywhere that you can get them in. Now, everybody over on this side, come on. Over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I went for the wrong one. Oh, now he's back. I'm, I'm it's so awesome you got the most updated version of this game, too. Oh, That's yeah. very sweet. Which is always a good thing to do, is to like mm. kind of let the person know you're going to be playing their game. Because then they they give you some back back um, like info on it. Um, about how they made it, or difficulty. Venus or... is no sounding game? I think no. that's the case. Yeah, it's, it's not a fully done game. It's, it is a work in progress. An I, abandoned work in progress. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, is that, like, sound is awesome, but this game totally works without it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like, I, one... like, you could put in a sound for when a robot gets repaired. It'd be like, oh, oh, God, another one's back. Yeah. That would be useful. But anything else, like, you don't need... Yeah, you don't need the... Yeah. Like, like, like helicopter blades and stuff. Yeah. Also new... Obviously, it'll be enhanced by that. It's but... a cool little detail that it's a, that it's oh. a um, yeah, rip. It's a cool little detail that you're a helicopter, though. I've never yes. really seen a game like that. You tend to be spaceships or, like... Yeah. Uh, just, just run up, yeah. You can't. You can't even get past... Maybe if he was way on the left... Yeah. You'd have enough time to get past the bullet. It's tricky, but... though, because it's like, if you don't... If you play your cards wrong, he's gonna regenerate that guy, and then you're, like, back to nothing. Back to zero with no time left. That's right. And no lives. Like, watch, he might... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Kill yeah, your, yeah. kill your friends. Do it now. He's gonna regen him. <laughs> That's a problem. Like it's like, and uh, uh, ah, bam! Damn it! Yeah, it, Impaler says, yeah, too bad. Even the O2 uh, Odyssey 2 version was never released. Um, the regenerating would be an option. The O2 didn't have that. Oh, so you would turn that on and off. 
that does make the game a lot harder. Yeah. The regenerating. So yeah, making that an option would be good because, as it stands, I think maybe oh. the game's a touch too hard. At least in the early level. Yeah, I mean. Um, so taking away the regenerating would. I mean, here we go. Crazy pitch. Start with two. Oh, right. Yeah. And then ramp it up. Yeah. Yeah. Because four is tough. Four is tough. Like, oh, you made it out. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, you could have made it out if you went down still. Because but... and then the next level has like um, I don't know three. And then you have three yeah. again in another maze, and then you have four. Because yeah. uh, it's always nice to reward us for sort of. Yeah. You know, having an easy first level, or at least. It's a great, great yeah. quality. But it depends what Thomas is going for. If he's going for a, an accurate um, remake of it, then. or a port, he can't. He has to start with four. But also, you could have an option uh, in the menu at the beginning: easy, medium. Or me easy standard and difficult. And on the easy, you know, you could start with two. And the standard would be four. And then difficult would be um, the robots repair each other. Yeah. And and ramp it up like that. But, like, see, stuff like this is really hard because, like, I really don't want them to sort of bump into each other. Uh, but, like, what do you do here, right? Because he's for sure going to repair. Yeah, repaired. Yeah. Done. This is not the 21 version, actually, I think. Uh, let me just look at my archives oh, here. Oh, see, I just lost. It doesn't matter because I... Good, okay, take this, take this. Oh, come, yeah. come, come get me. Come get me. 1K version is awesome. I play the 101 version. There's a 101. No. Yes. I only found the 1.00. I didn't know there's a 101. Tactics. Theory. <laughs> All repaired. So oh this God. is version I'm done. 20, I'm done. This is version 26 that we're playing for everybody out there. Um, go to the forums and look for the thread for Robot City, and it'll be one of the later. Um, oh, shot the. He can. The, those guys can shoot right through the others. Um, yeah, and kill shield. you. That's right. Yeah. So it's like to 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 pull off a thing like that is is not an easy move. Uh, no. Version, I don't have version 101. I have version 1.0, Blam. which is Blam. version 31, 1K. Uh, there's a bunch of different versions. And this one is version 26, which was made in 2006 sometime. He didn't Blam. give up. Damn, okay. Nice. He didn't but I got, give... like, no health now. So. Yeah. All right. This is your last. See, this is where, like, I'd much rather, like, fight down here, but I don't know how to do that necessarily. Yeah. Now, so, so sort of this stuff here is aft. See, like, what do you oh, do? Oh, it's blog. Yeah, one of the versions is in the blog. Yeah, so this guy is here. Cornered. I'm going to get cornered. And then death. Maybe not. Like, you could get him, but this, you have to get out. you got to get out of there as soon as you kill him. Because you won't. Oh, see, I was close. I was yep. close, but. I'll give it one more go, I think. Yeah. But it made it to level three again. That's not bad. This is a is this good. is addictive little game. There we go. I've never even played anything that's like this concept before. No. And the AI is amazing. It's just like they're they're and it's cool because you can kind of because it's this game is you all about trick. Them. It's all about tricking the AI. This is the whole game's point. It's kind of like almost like a stealth game in, in in some ways it where is. you're like. You're sort of trying to like outmaneuver these guys, and you're trying to guide them and lead them. Or it's like playing like Ugh. Black Ops Zombies, where you have to like train the zombies to sort of go on a path that you want. Mm. Otherwise, you'll be overwhelmed by them. But it's even more interesting because it's like, could yeah. you imagine like a first-person shooter with this style? Oh, It'd be yeah. very cool. It where, would be, yeah. Where yeah. you have like you have to armor sneak up behind them, and they're like, and there's a bunch of them, and you have to sneak around and like. It could be cool, because I've never... This is a really cool concept. Oh, yeah. It is stealth, because if you're in front of them, you're dead. That's right. You're so dead. And they're tracking you constantly. Yeah, they are. They know where you are, but they don't know exactly where you are, kind oh, of. Oh, so you gotta, you gotta kick some butt. Yeah. Yes. That was second level? Yeah. Damn it. Couldn't get in there. Come on, somebody come up. Oh, okay, okay. Just one person come over here. Oh, I can't get in behind them. No, this, this, these, oh. th these pathways are the best. Like lead, let them go down. Let someone go down the long pathway, 
if you can, and then you'll totally oh, get okay. them, right? Like go up here? Yeah, if someone can go down that long pathway, it's a freebie. Bounce? Oh, you've got, it. you've basically got them done. Because the second, now you have to like... There. Get... Oh my oh. god, thanks, cat. <laughs> thanks a lot. James was about to get his high score. <laughs> and you ruined it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. Pixel jumping down. I was from Pixel. The so I sorry, Atari. I yelled at you. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> God, God, yeah. attack, that's right. Did you guys see? They obviously heard it. But yeah, it was. I don't know if you it saw was the it. critical point. Did you guys see? The that? cat causes randomness. It's correct. <laughs> you need an RNG in your game. Get uh, get get. That's right. Get James's cat to come in. Cat randomness. Ah, oh, no, you just rescued oh. him because it's. Now he's gonna rescue him again. So get Seeky, Tanky, oh, Sneaky, and Treddy before they shoot do. you in Robot City. Because we can't make Pac-Man <laughs> and it was litigated that a maze with That's seeking hilarious. enemies and moving dots was too close to infringing Pac-Man. Ah, Correct. Ah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Oh, I've got them. I got two of them. I might yes, be able yes, to do this. Oh, you totally got this, dude. Yep. Just, just like hey, come down here. Come just down here. make sure that they don't. Perfect. Yes. One more. Bam. And I got him. I got him. Oh, yeah. Yes. Now, this is the level. This that... is level three? This is level three. We haven't made it past this God level yet. Damn it's it. a tough level. Two is hard enough. Two's tough. Okay. I got one disabled. Oh, okay. He's going to regen <gasps> immediately. Oh. oh, damn it. Oh, I think I killed myself here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe oh. not, but it's it's a lot of stuff that's going I gotta on. i got to get out of here. Yeah. Oh, I got... Oh. Get him, James. Right, Neither of us got level three. No. It's too hard. Wow. Okay. If any if there's any takeaway, it's Thomas, finish this game. Oh my finish god. Finish it. Dude. This is gonna be like This is one of the coolest a big hit. And it's so it's addictive. Like you saw me, I didn't like I, I wasn't even reading the chat. You're giving me tips. Yeah. I like he's I suppose was like you ignored me three times. It's because I was like <laughs> in it, man. I'm like I gotta I gotta like get these things. To oh, do there's the... sound on version one. Oh, okay. But you're a UFO instead of a chopper. Okay. Well, we could load version one, but I think that was good enough. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, because the graphics are better on this one. Yeah, it's so cool. I thought I'd do this one. Instead. But I love the I love the the idea. It's I mean, this is also like my favorite thing about homebrew, right? Is it's just, it's it's not about it's just about simple yep. game ideas. It's not about graphics. Not about sound. It's about playability, strategy, like those two things. Really, Monkey King Fun. is another example of that too, where it's just you're just flipping branches, dodging coconuts, <laughs> yeah, playing like yeah. it's it's these simple ideas that are so fun because it gets if you think about it like soccer is not a complicated game. No, it's like it's, you kick a bloody ball. It's a bunch of people, a ball, yeah. and a goal, and and they made lots of soccer games back oh, yeah. in the '80s for these kind of consoles because it's it's simple. You have you know your two sprites and your two players and. A ball and yeah, pong. It's yep. like the, that's it. Yeah, these pong. games don't need to be complicated. They don't need to look amazing. It's just it's about these ideas, and this is a brilliant idea. I was like, I would totally play like a first person shooter or a third person shooter where yes. you got to sneak up behind people, and like in like in this form, the idea is so good that you could totally expand and riff on this. Like to convert this over, you could have like a, an overlay radar of this. Yeah. But you're first person or third, and you still have to sneak up on them. But they're still coming for you. That's right. They, they almost they also kind of have a, a, a they can see it too. But maybe not exactly where you are. But like he's around here. I'll take a left instead of a right, but you can see them taking the left. That's right, and you got to make sure that you dodge them, and like you get power ups, you can kind of turn invisible for a bit, yeah. so that you can kind of sneak. Like it's just so it's it's a really it's he made. I think I, I think I was right when I said he made like a stealth game. It is in because they don't know where you are; they're just randomly moving. Yeah, uh, it's just the to to do list is just too long for one life or two. This one's so close. It's so close. It's almost done. Us. It's so great, man. <laughs> like just a bit of sound and a menu option. Hell for, yeah, and yeah. done. Just what wherever we got, man. It's but, really cool. You know, he's probably got like five other games oh my he'd God. rather do. And he probably has this weird thing called a personal life with what? family and friends. Oh. And 
and a job Love and, and what you know needs you know, to make money oh and all it's that. pesky money oh. why can't we just live in utopia and everybody play and make video games <laughs> <laughs> thrust issues came in between yeah i get i mean it, there's always another thing that you know rises to the top of Hell your yeah. of your list and i have a you... list this long of things i want to do and just one day i said you know i'm just going to start streaming this show yeah and i have to do it and I, otherwise i'll never just i'll never do it because i had huge different types of plans for this show i was going to do a crazy intro and yeah other stuff and i went if i don't just start doing it i will never get it get it started and sometimes you just have to pick a starting point and get into it yeah and that what happened with the documentary too like yeah. we were like oh we got a the film that i is being released now we jumped into it like kind of a little bit early because we didn't have everything planned out but if we didn't do that it wouldn't have been the same film it well, would not even become close. Well, that's how things start it's it's yeah. like people for, don't realize that like anything creative it's like the motivation comes second. You start by just doing it. Yeah. And then when you and you fail and then you look back on that failure and go, yeah. Oh, what could we have done differently? And you do a couple iterations of that and then all of a sudden you realize, Oh, I'm mid process, I'm refining something <laughs> yeah. and then it starts to get made. But it's like the beginning is always this like you know, and and on no promises. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. This game is totally playable no, as no is. No problem, man. Yeah, and, and also I'm so thankful that you made it to this point because I would I'll play this game. Hell yeah! Over and also and over again. we totally get it, man. Like yeah. whatever you got going on is like I know how it goes. I've yep. started lots of projects, and you know what? Um, what did you say? He said 16 years or something. What was it, since he started this since game? Since he started this game, yeah. that's a long time. It's really he, hard. He worked actively on it for four. I think. Four, okay, yeah. cool. But I mean, even four years, man, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's a lot of time. I mean, I, I have a project that I've, it's a, like a YouTube series. I've filmed 12 episodes. It's all filmed. It's all done. You just gotta... and it's sitting on my hard drives waiting to be edited. But other things get in the way. And it's like, and this is going to be a, a hit. Yeah. Like this, this TV show, this YouTube TV show. Like a huge hit. But I have to do other things. Like, oh, yeah. They, like projects I've already done and started. It's like. Well, like you the, have to prioritize in your life. James just uh, is editing my new short film, and yeah. it's really funny when the when I wrote the film, me and me and my uh, friend were sitting around and we talked about the idea, and it was that moment where we're like, we either do this right now, or it will <laughs> right. never happen. Right. And we just this we're like just four hours, we just did it. And so I, honestly, if anybody yeah. on chat has anything creative that they want to get done or wants to do something, my recommendation for you is to just start and now is like the time and you just look at yes. whatever you've got and the thing is is that it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't matter. Perfect is boring. You yeah. just got to you just got to go and do something, whatever that is, and then you get all the answers from fumbling through. Um, but no, like, this uh, is cool. This was planned as a 1K comp competition game. So uh, wanted to game. prove that decent AI was possible within just, just 1K. 1K. And it Hell yes, is. it is. is. amazing AI. It seems so advanced. I, it Probably underneath, it's like, oh, just go towards the character. Or, you know, take our left, random, le left, right. And the maze generator. Good on the maze generator. That was That's an awesome addition. Hell yeah. That's awesome. And also for all the people who had the games before, um, like, thank you so much for working on them and yeah. continuing to refine and, and, and get through. Because this is like, it's a long process. But really, I'd say all the games we played today... Um, the only issue was just that we had our game yes. was crashing a little bit, yes. which is like that's so minor. It's, it's this, minor programming issues. You gotta yeah. just if we can if, and you and every one of you was like we didn't test this on hardware because we couldn't. Yeah. So it's completely legit. Yeah. So that's what we're here for. <laughs> yeah. And so um, if you clean up any of those yeah. uh, things, I guess we I, I don't know how how you feel. Again. I'd love to play them again. Oh, and we see revisit. How they feel. We revisit them. Uh, especially, we're definitely gonna be revisiting Night Guy. Hell yeah. Because yeah, I hope he sees the show and and looks at how to fix those screen jumping issues because stella like the emulator on the computer it doesn't show that stuff it yes. looks all perfect and runs perfect um but for people with real hardware and if you ever want to put it on a cart um you have to make sure it, it works perfectly yeah um and then um uh... anyway, oh there was just going back briefly to motivating and and getting things done and starting it um, there's a saying, um, the best time, uh, the second best time to plant a tree is today. 
um, the best time was 20 years ago. That's right. <laughs> so just start it. Just do it if you're yeah. thinking about it. And it's also one of yes, those... Yes, Stella does show in little... It does do jumps, but it doesn't do this. It doesn't blank the screen out. It does have like line counts and goes red. Um, and you can you can show it, but I mean, it doesn't do what this does. It doesn't yeah. cut out hardware and crash games and stuff like that. And w one thing I want to say too is like, I, I said this before in the chat, but like, I think it's so true. Like a lot, I have a lot of friends who are actors and like the best thing in the world uh, is to get in front of an audience and like try your stuff. And this is what you're doing. You're like yeah. throwing your game to us and we're trying it out. So it's like, if you do have something that you're working on and it's not perfect, the only way to sort of iron this stuff out is to just throw it out there and say, let's see how this goes. So this yeah. is part of the process. Yeah. Went out of my head, but another, there was another saying. As oh, well. yeah. Um, no, it's gone. Oh, well. Oh, it, I'm sorry, it was another James. motivational one. <laughs> one of those, one of those good but ones. It's, it's just a silly one. Oh, yeah. Don't let perfect be the enemy of good. Yes. Because some people get it in their head. Oh, this game has to be perfect before I show anyone. Or, you know, I don't have everything in place. It's like, no, you can't. Just do it. Just start it. And you can refine it as you go. There's some things that, yeah, like making a film that costs money. It's yeah. like, no, you, you do need to be, do a bit of planning before Hell that. Yeah. Because if you spend all your money, you're, you're, you're done. done. You're not going to be able to make the film. But this is all free. And, and you can only learn by doing. And with... And there's this human tendency with any project is I want to hide it away for only me uh, yeah. until it's perfect and then I'll release it out into the world. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is the second you release it out to the world, it becomes so obvious what needs to change. So sometimes yeah. the quicker you can just go, okay, I got this. This is working. Let's experiment. Let's see how this goes. Okay, this is this why we do beta testing. That's why yeah. people like... That's why when I'm writing a script, I get a bunch of actors together and we just try yeah. and read the scene. That you can do for free. Yeah, that's you right. know. Or you can get your friend to do it. Yeah. So in any case, whatever you guys are doing out there, please keep going because yeah. this is fun. Yeah. Arena Foot says, note to programmers, always share. Yes, I please. says, we programmed an awful lot of code in DK Arcade and only over cycles in level one when hammer barrel... Hammer music barrels all running at once. Yeah, so, yeah, you need to do testing. Um, cool Crab said, Robot City was my favorite. I think that's my yeah, favorite today. same. It's just um, so, so much strategy and complexity. Yeah. It's hard as hell. I, I'd still stand by, I think, Monk, uh, Monkey King is my favorite um, uh, two-player game that that's we've done. That's a great two-player um, game. It's just like, you know, I, me and James could probably do an entire <laughs> two hours of us just hanging Monkey out King. playing Monkey King. Trying, trying different to, strategies. Yeah, and, and that and that's amazing. And yeah. But this, I think, in terms of, like, um, production and just, like, as a game. Like a fully fledged, um, solid game, yeah. And Tire Tracks, though, is probably one of the most beautiful oh my um, piece God. of art I've seen. It's like it's it honestly is a piece of art. It like is. that's I mean not to take away from these because they're games and they're sort of they're meant to be like a playground. Yeah. But that feels like I'm looking at a painting or I'm yeah. looking at something you've crafted from your your vision and your mind, which is like mm -hmm. very special. And Cuckoo Cuckoo Temple, fun game. Oh hell fun yeah! Kind of platformer ish game. It, adventure game <laughs> love that cat and i, and <laughs> yep, I got really on that screen. one was fun i got really focused with that that one i with a couple little tweaks yeah is gonna be amazing yeah like so, that some more variation with totally the enemies like the arrows and the things falling just a little bit more variation I, I think i think that in my opinion three is a really magical number however five might be really nice five, five different levels, levels yeah. that rotate because when it rotates three times you sort of feel like oh i've got the idea but after five you'd yeah. sort of and they don't have to be radically different just a slightly different layout even if i'm i don't know coming from the left instead of the right for yeah. you know just a tiny just little tweak change it up yeah and night guy we couldn't give that a fair shot yeah unfortunately so we're looking forward to playing that again. hell yeah yeah so but in concept wow so good one of the best well not like one of the most creative platformers uh in terms of variation and this one would be addictive another yeah. one or me and james would get a little bit co competitive <laughs> yeah get, like, get to the further because there's 31 levels oh and i want to see what all those 31 levels although please if it, the, the the snake hurting you in the first level that's rough that hurts that <laughs> yeah, hurts a bit bring back the jumping <laughs> yeah um but but you know what i'm sure that's just part of the ironing out of everything yeah. So uh, I think that's it. Where's my tablet? The cat's like totally destroyed everything. 
have to pick up all that. I just ran over all my new cartridges I bought. Oh. Throwing everything throwing them on the ground all this the you know at the rusted one is oh laser gates is like in the corner of the room over there um so um any special shows coming up we have i'll just briefly uh take a look at the shows that we have coming up on friday we have some more um work in progress games but it's going to be all really early versions cool. of the game so they're just started those are fun man. yeah so those they're are gonna always be, fun they're gonna be really rough but you, you'll get a sense of where they're going um and also one of i Sposta's mock-ups so it's not a work in progress okay. as he let me know Dude, like, i'm don't starting to learn this terminology progress. slowly as yeah. well just like the satan's hollow game it was just a mock-up but he's actually turning that into a game so it changed from a mock-up to a work in progress because I guess, you know, it worked so well, and it did. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're doing an all-puzzle game special. I feel like Tanya's going to be yeah. the, the, the that, person that's for that. That's Tanya's day. Yeah. That's, like, not this Friday, next Friday, when it's Tanya's turn. Um, and then, in two weeks, I'll be away for two episodes. So there won't be any episodes that week, unless I do an early one. Cool. Because I will be going to my world premiere of my film in yes. Florida. It's a feature documentary film that I've been working like four years or more on. And it's now in three film festivals. It's up for it's aw- awards in some of them as best documentary in two of them. Does not surprise best me. Best director one in one of them. So yes. I, I hope it gets some awards. That's mm-hmm. that's my day job is making films. That's yeah. his day job too. And I was really, I got to work on the film and I was really lucky because yeah. I got to see it sort of, I saw a three hour cut of the movie and then I now, I've, I've still got now seen it. And then a two and a half and, and then, then a one and a half. half. <laughs> Finally, now people can watch it and not, you know, die in the middle of it. Oh, well, you know, it was totally, it was totally <laughs> yeah. great to it's watch in the, in the two and a half. Even the three hour cut was amazing, but it was just like, it's a different thing when it's like for an audience, you know. Oh um, yeah, people can suggest some more puzzle games actually. Um, um, the the film's name is Perfect Fourteen. A Perfect Fourteen. A Perfect Fourteen. Sorry. A Perfect Fourteen. It's about the plus size modeling industry. Yeah. Which there's never been a film documentary film made about the plus size modeling industry and plus size models, and probably all you're all aware of plus size models now with Ashley Graham, and um, Tess Holiday. She yeah. was just on the front cover of Cosmopolitan. Um, we interview her. She's not in the film anymore, which is kind of ironic. Yeah, it just doesn't fit. There's people that we cut out of the film, and they that just are don't. like that are so interesting and important to it, but they, it just doesn't work. And it's really interesting the process of a film, a, a documentary. And and just to sort of like um, from my perspective, I wanted to say just from my end that one of the things I really appreciate about the film is that. It gets into some of the social issues connected with it, but it's a very small part. It's a very yeah. balanced film that t- kind of just looks at this as an industry and is kind of takes it very seriously and g- gets a lot of different viewpoints. So it's it's more of an examination of kind of the whole there you go. the whole all the talk about it all because yeah. there's a sort of a feeling I think you might have, which I actually when I first before I jumped on the board with the project of like, oh, is this just going to be sort of an hour and a half of you telling me that we should promote, you know, alternative bodies and sort yeah. of ragging on industry. And it's not that at all. It really just kind of, it, it's very balanced and sort of looks at a lot of different people's perspectives, which is like, I, well, why I like documentaries is because yes. it doesn't, it's it's not. It shows you different perspectives on, on life. And yeah. it's not like a news program on yeah. CNN, which says there is this, epidemic of you know it's it's not really and it's not activism either it's not like here's my perspective listen to this yeah. which is cool anyways well, uh, thank you. i wanted to, to <laughs> plug the movie plug the movie but also just to say like you anyway, know. it's playing in florida if you live in miami or florida you can come down and and meet me and watch watch the film yeah. too um so the ones that are scheduled stratagems deluxe which some people are saying so we are playing stratagems uh chunk out uh, 2048, uh, uh, 3.S. I may be saying that incorrectly, and I believe that is Thomas's uh, game. Am I incorrect? Is that one of your games? I think he was. I think somebody posted his list of games up here. 
way up. Oh here. yeah, it was it was great. We had yep, a bunch that is. of them. So we're playing Thomas Yent's Good. game on Friday as well. Yes. So there we go. Um, three dots. Oh, that clever. That's what it is. Three dots. Not three dot S. <laughs> oh, three dots. Yeah. Cool. So there's still room. Uh, well, we're playing four already. Maybe I can fit a fifth one in there. Yeah. So I'll go through this list that people are um, jammed. Yeah. Jammed? Maybe. Is that the one where you have to move a puzzle piece out and you have to move puzzle pieces? Those are not my favorite. You ever <laughs> seen those ones where it's, people make them with blocks? And you have to shift a block over... And then you can now shift that block down. Oh, I like that those a lot. Over. Yeah. I used to play, there's one that was like, as a kid, you, there's there's ones that you get to do, which is like, you have to escape a school bus. And there was yes. like 400 puzzles or something. Because oh you just get these cards. And I would just sit for hours and do that stuff. I like that <laughs> stuff. But I was like 10 or 11 at the time. So yeah. I think like nowadays, it probably wouldn't be the, the, the coolest. And I did a bunch on my iPhone yeah. though. I'm really fast at them. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're fun. Um, Arena Foot says there's a few uh, uh, titles in his first book, so oh, I'll, cool. I'll look. I'll use this as a reference and maybe find another one, or you go for one that. Uh, Jammed yeah. has 600 puzzles. That's cool. <laughs> wow, that's that'd amazing. be my kind of game, man. I like those puzzle games a lot. Yeah. Hi. Goody. So that's what's coming up. Uh, we're also going to play Ladybug uh, on the 28th of september i think that's the last day of the month that we can play that's part of the homebrew tournament round four we're only going to play it once this because i think it bores people when we play it more than once yeah the same game it's like well, oh, it's good. what are we going to talk about again for another two hours you yeah know? i mean it's good to get the practice in but i think we only need to play it once so i just want to say uh make sure you uh, follow and subscribe um on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, so you can see upcoming shows because sometimes the times change. And especially if you're on Twitch, it'll alert you on on your um, on your phone or tablet or computer. It'll pop up and say, um, Atari is a very cute cat. He is the best gray cat I've ever met. Yeah, Aren't you? these are nice cats. Yeah, I grew really up with cats, cats, and they're pretty, they're pretty this nice. This one is a cuddle bug. Yeah, whenever yeah. we watch movies, he just, like, hops on the lap and is just yeah. there for hours. It's cool. Oh, yeah, I, I have a limited edition Ladybug version as well, so I'll be and playing And they've been that. saying a lot in the chat. They're just all letting us know that um, Alex already updated Monkey <laughs> Monkey King version awesome. 18B, which Good. is, thank you so much, dude. So I'll, We're already, like, over time. Like, yeah, so we can't play it this one, but... Um, I'll pop it in later and, and send a private message to make sure that um, there's no jumps or anything. Yeah. And totally. and then we'll give it the all clear. Um, that would be good mm -hmm. if, if it actually uh, is not jumpy. Um, and also the Atari Age Forum. I, I have it on there. You just search for Zero Page Homebrew and you can see the full schedule. I have like things planned out for weeks, like months, in fact. And even possible games to slot in and stuff. Oh, thanks uh, for tuning in for the yeah, first time, thanks, Muddy Funster. Muddy. Glad you thanks, discovered guys. Zero Page as well. Um, and the next uh, next show on Friday, and that will be at 2 p.m. Uh, Pacific Time, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, or whatever time it is in your time zone. Those are North <laughs> American times that you can calculate from. Um, and it's going to be Darcy here. Uh, to play with me. He comes every second Friday. And then Erlen's on Wednesdays and right. Tanya's on every other day. So we kind of got a set yeah, schedule yeah, I'm there. Sure they all, I, I'm sure they, everyone has their own vibe, which is cool. Yeah. And, um, yeah, things are happening with the secret game that's coming up very, very soon. Um, I can't, oh, I wish I could say. Thank you, Arena Foot, for posting that. That is the page which has all the archive links to the YouTube archives so you can see what we play where um, or you can subscribe to the YouTube and all that stuff. Anyway, I'll sorry for distracting things. you, Ground Trooper, from getting payroll done. Uh, you should get that done. People want to be paid. That's for sure. Do my employees need money? Eh, maybe they do. <laughs> yes, so they can purchase more homebrew. That's correct. But we're done. This Wednesday edition, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for doing all this stuff. Thanks for all to all this Twitch subscribers for supporting the show uh soon i might be able to have enough money to buy one cartridge a month 
<laughs> yes. That would be nice that it could support my habit of cartridge purchasing. But the cartridges that are coming out at the Portland, Portland Retro Gaming Expo, I'm coming home with a stack like this. Oh. It's unbelievable. They just put out a whole bunch of rollerball versions of ga old games where you go zzzz zzz, zzz, oh, on the rollerball. Oh, that sounds like fun. Oh, we have a rollerball special coming up, so I'm going to wait and hold off until after I go to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo for the rollerball um, one. Trackball hacks, that's what it is, the trackball hacks. Um, and I've been waiting for three years because they announced it like three years ago wow. they were going to do the trackball ones. One card a month, I could live with that. Uh, not me. I have to play eight shows a, a month. Uh, I go through carts pretty quick. <laughs> uh, you have to keep up the work in progress homebrews if uh, to fill out that. If I can only do play one card a month, yeah. So I'm still dipping into my own. But thank you for the support um, to supplement. That's right. My Atari 2600 habit, and I'll be getting my ColecoVision modded soon, and my Intellivision modded soon. So we'll have a whole new world. And I do need. I've got an Intellivision multi cart. For SD card so I can do homebrew and I think I still need to buy a ColecoVision version of this cart so I can do some homebrew stuff so it's all very expensive hundreds and hundreds of dollars for <laughs> all of that oh my god um are who made you aware of Robot City that is a very good question actually I was trying to think of that when I was talking about oh I search forums and stuff I don't know where I just you know what? I think I just had it on my hard drive from a while back, and I was just looking through, see which ones I haven't played on the show. Uh, no, it wasn't your list, Arena Foot, because your list is massive. I could have done a, a big search on, ooh, what else has Thomas Yentz made? <laughs> I, I think it was Fate. <laughs> yeah, it was Fate. Just randomly found this amazing game. I have no idea. I can... Did somebody may have like posted on it and then it popped up to the top of the homebrew in the Atari Age forum? I don't know. I don't, somehow I just ran across it. It's fate. Let's That's right, it Arena. Fate. It was meant to be. But anyway, we're way over time. Oh my god. But <laughs> yeah, I got a meeting at two. So. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> That's all good. It's, um, like a, it's like a 10 minute walk. I yeah, okay, well. good. Um, yeah, I'm glad the Robot City made it to the stream too. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Thanks for subscribing. Check out all my pages and all that stuff. I already said that. So see you on Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern time for the next edition of Homebrew. Zero, I don't know the name of my show. Zero Page Homebrew. Bye-bye.